Hello everyone. I am the Decorista. I uh, generally do a lot of uh, Disney Dreamlight Valley content and builds, but I have also started uh, doing builds in uh, Sims 4 and I uh, have been lucky enough to have joined uh, Sam and Bean's uh, Discord. Uh, she's an amazing uh, content creator on uh, YouTube and uh, TikTok. And anyone else in the chat who knows, uh, uh, does Sam do Twitch or not? I, I watch everything on YouTube. But uh, yeah, she, she's incredible and does just like all sorts of build help tutorials, roofing tutorials, uh, you name it. Um, she also goes over tutorials of each kind of uh, style of architecture and uh, it's really amazing. I put uh, the link to the YouTube for Sam and Bean in the Discord. And uh, this event was a really fun uh, event that is an unofficial uh, Sam challenge in the Discord. It's the New Crest, uh, New Year, New Crest community event. So um, let me just... Uh, I just put in mainly the uh, rules for the game. I didn't put the whole packet that we all saw when we signed up. Um, so presenting a fun event for the Sam Discord community members. For this collaborative effort, we will populate Newcrest with both residential and community lots using only the base game. Imagine being able to say you are part of this community collaboration where everyone can enjoy the challenge without worrying about what packs they have or don't have. So this was really fun for me, especially. I'd never done a base game build. <laughs> um, we want this to be a fun exercise with no pressure to create a certain style or size dwelling. Your lot can be any style, color, genre, and price. The completed world will be available to members as a save file for playing in their own game. Note that this is not, this is not an official SAM challenge, but a community member collaboration for the members of SAM's Discord group. So participants will volunteer to be included and are assigned a random lot in Newcrest. And some, some people were assigned additional lots later. Lots uh, to be randomly assigned by a wheel spin. I love pick a roll. <laughs> I do all my contests with that. Uh, you're allowed to trade with another member if both of you agreed on the trades, and we had that a couple of times here. And you may be assigned either a residential lot or one of the three predetermined community lots. The world used for play, so all lots should be functional. So, and we had uh, help play testing by SR Simmer, who really, really helped organize this in an amazing way. Did the spreadsheets, assigned the lots, um, went and play tested, uh, took pictures, um, a real big shout out. Uh, if you're watching here, I know it's early. <laughs> you're, you're a few hours behind me. Um, residential homes can be any style price and can include basements, platforms, pools, etc. Provided everything used is from the base game only. Now we did use like the... Um, party celebration pack that I think pretty much everyone with base game got for free. So um, that was used. And um, so community lots are predetermined as the following. Uh, Midtown Meadows, which is a 40 by 30 lot park for recreation and families. There's Sandy Run, which is 40 by 20. A uh, lot type will be bar, lounge, nightclub, gym, or pool. Uh, we used pool for this one. And then Tranquil Crescent, which is 30 by 30, a lot time museum or library for skill building. And uh, we did a museum and library there. Uh, so, uh, and they're really incredible builds. Uh, we want the challenge to be fun for everyone. And uh, it definitely was. We got like some incredible, incredible uh, submissions. And I can't wait to, to fully play this world outside my own lots. So, uh, and we also used uh, James Turner's uh, pack restriction page. Oh my gosh, I, I cannot tell you how much this really helped me. Because um, you have to turn it off every time. Hey, 
<laughs> SR Simmer, it's so good to see you. I'm glad you could join. Hope you're having your coffee, having a good time, settling in. Uh, okay, that's more. So um, the first neighborhood we did, um, they kind of divided it by neighborhoods, and this really helped. Um, and what I love about how it turned out, and you'll see, is just... You know, I think some people were worried about the synergy between the architectural styles of Newcrest, what's built and with each other. But I'm glad that uh, it was decided that we do whatever we like because it's so cohesive um, because no neighborhood, unless it's a really super ticky tacky planned neighborhood, uh, you know, looks the same. And I mean, I've seen neighborhoods that look like all of these all over my town. Um, so I think it's just so realistic. So um, this is the Bridgeview neighborhood. And let me pull up, I'll just do it in my game. So um, this is a neighborhood right up at the top left corner of your map. And uh, we have five lots that we did up here. I'm going to minimize this, trying to go back and forth between the PowerPoint. So the first lot is uh, my lot that I did. I'm the Decorista. Uh, it's in the Comfy Cubby a lot. And it's a 20 by 15. And I created a cozy contemporary house, which has a... Uh, to be two bedroom two bathroom <laughs> i didn't realize i put three that was a mistake there's actually an extra room upstairs that's like an office and then this is a picture oh this is the inspiration picture i tried to get as many of the inspiration pictures as i could hey erica so glad that you could make it um and this I found online. I just I decided to do a contemporary house because I thought it would just be the, you know, easy. I was doing a Mediterranean kind of semi-traditional, so I wanted something completely different for this one. And nearly, and this is the final house that I did with a few changes to kind of the roof style. The um, and I added a little upstairs area. Hey, Christian, welcome in. I'm glad you could make it. I know it's a sim stream today. And then um, let's get into the lots here. So build. All right, let's go in. Okay, and let me turn off the grid here so it's prettier. So this is the um, outside. And I tried to, since I'm touring my own, <laughs> I'll show you what I tried to do. Um, I tried to make the landscaping really fit in with the surrounding landscaping. Um, I almost gutted this house, actually, and um, I'm glad I didn't. There were just a few details that I couldn't do that I wanted to do on this. And then uh, let's go into free cam. So. And let's look at it. Let's escape out of free cam. So in the top view, well, we have actually up here a little uh, kind of girl or man cave. Um, I had these windows up here and um, I didn't have the ceiling go all the way to the top of the Clara story. So I thought it'd be fun to put a little man cave up here. We used to have stairs that came in from the hallway, but when I play tested it, they could get up the stairs, but they starved to death if <laughs> they stayed up there for too long. So I ended up doing this exterior stairs and um, I think it adds to the build. You know, it's a little different than the other one, but we all kind of have to vary off of like generally the floor plans unless we're doing something really exact. Um, let me go back up on this one. So I go down, I like it with the walls up at first, just look down the floor plan. Um, let's go down the bottom floor. Okay. And then we'll do kind of a walk through. 
So this is the entry. Very, you know, very contemporary, very open. Um, with the kitchen, the living room. I did kind of a divider wall. I love doing these in regular builds. I do do interior designs. So. <laughs> so we have our fireplace on each side in the dining room and living room. It gives it, you know, its own space, but um, also still very open with this being a full height divider wall. Um, added this fun office uh, with the that newspaper wallpaper. I love, I've been trying to find like um, different ways to do it. Um, I love like kind of new paper, newspaper decoupage. So uh, I did the office there. So this part used to be a garage in the original uh, picture. So, or the original uh, floor plan, the house. So all the way back to the back. So what was nice when I took out the garage, because it's Sims, is the fact that I was able to add this library and dining room. Because it was a really tiny home and now it's a bit more of a spacious like starter home. This is like a very starter home neighborhood and it's really fun, you know, the different styles of starter homes that we have. So then you go up to the um, the top uh, hallway on the top floor and uh, each bedroom, let me go over here. This is one of the main bedrooms. You know, it could be like roommates living together or like, you know, a couple who also have a guest room. Um, you know, one of these could be changed into a, a kid's room or a teenage room. I mean, it's, it's, it's very versatile. So each have their own bathrooms. And the art is from the gallery, the non-CC base game friendly custom art. Usually people, you know, make with the uh, paint by reference. And uh, then this is more like, that was kind of our neutral. This is more like the seaside. This person definitely likes the coast and we'll walk through. And then we have a little, uh, well, the bathrooms aren't little though. They're, I like, I like good sized bathrooms and I usually do like a shower and a tub, um, in both of them, especially if I have the room, like this has a little water closet on the end, try to make sure I do all the toilet paper and everything, even if <laughs> they don't use it. It's still, it's like, it's like a little bit of realness. Okay, let's go to the front. Okay, sorry. I'm going to free cam it. Okay. Try to do this right, sorry. And then I'm gonna actually Sims 3 cam closer. First time of day, always getting used to this one. Okay, there we go. I don't want to go down a little further. We have to go down a little further. It's nice when I do like other kind of programs, like 3D modeling, you can like put your eye level height and here I have to kind of be like, okay, oh, why does it do that? Why does it get out of free cam? All right. <laughs> I will tour this place. Okay, here we go. I didn't mean to do that. And to the right, let me just back up and then let's get, there we go. There we go. You can do a little bit of a forced perspective and try not to get it too forced because it looks weird. So over here is the kitchen area and they used kind of like the blue cabinets just to like warm up the modern and also with some of the metals and there'll be brass tones, not as much in this room, but uh, in the other rooms. And then we have our living area. I feel like they're into like kind of cool, like figural, like kind of surrealist art in outer space. <laughs> Cause that's what I put in there. I like both of those things. So we go into the dining room here. Let's not do that. You know, and just try to keep it really kind of really contemporary, neutral, but warm and cozy. Like I love draperies and like, you know, modern situations because they just cozy up a place. So here is the office with the newspaper walls and the uh, no CC art. I wouldn't have been able to do this uh, base game build without it because I love doing interiors and it makes it very difficult. Let me pull back a little bit. Let's get our perspective right. It's a little bit skewed, but you can see everything. 
Um, I put guitars here in the office. Uh, both of my people are were getting, you know, to be decent musicians. And then back here, kind of get an overview of the living room. I'll go over the exterior later. I'm probably have to go upstairs. Okay, where are we? Are we still on our? I don't know. <laughs> well, I probably should save actually. <laughs> while we're at it okay it likes to jump around okay we'll go upstairs let's take off the grid well, i'll show you the little patio area first upstairs and you know i had to shush it around a little bit when i finally had stairs out here that were not planned but i think it works out anyway kind of a little bit of a modern tribal vibe i love that planter let's get back into our other camera and let's go down, down, all right, and down. <laughs> all right, this is the, let's back her up as far as we can. Oh, too far. Okay. This is our, like, kind of, you know, tranquil, like, seaside themed. They love the water. They have this gorgeous view. They're on the water. This is a really nice corner lot. So you have like quite a few neighbors like walking around. This is a little closet. For whom? Closet. <laughs> it's not a walk-in, so I'm not going to take you all the way in there and torture you that way. And then we got here, and then there's like the hallway. We did like a sculpture, and then uh, some art, and that cool star mirror. I kept trying to find a place for that. And this is, oh, I didn't go in the bathroom with the other one. I'll show you that. But this is the more kind of neutral, modern. Uh, I really enjoyed how this turned out. It, you know, I thought it was going to be easy for base game, but it's still a little tricky. This one has a fireplace, like you see down in the dining room and the living room. And then we have this big kind of long bathroom here. And I did it, you know, in the, in the grays and browns. I love gray and brown together, you know, most people like think it's a bad thing, but you know, the, the brown warms up the gray and vice versa. So it's really cool that way. And just a little water closet. Whoop, let's not go too far in there. Okay. And then we can maybe go, I don't want to get sick. Let's go back out here. <laughs> well, let's go in here and then we can go out through there make it less, you know, Blair Witch. And then we can go in this bathroom and look. It's a smaller bathroom, but we can get the idea. So yeah, I did like those uh, kind of teal, uh, kind of seafoam base game uh, subway tiles. And of course the art, I mean, the art really makes a lot of this. I saw a lot of people using that, so clever. Same sink, just different scenario. So, um, oops, let me get out of that. Look at the outside. Here we go. And I'm not going to use that one. It always wants to go up. Let's go further out so it's not bumping up and down the house. So this is, I love this fence. I love this fence. And I never used it when I did like non-base game builds. I, I think it looked kind of weird in the little thumbnail. But um, a, a couple of people use this fence because it's really amazing. So just like an outdoor seating area, an eating area, a grill, you know, I didn't put a lot of doodads on this little table. I wanted you to be able to like put your, you know, grilled foods on there. I don't know necessarily if they set up a barbecue. Mine never have really. Then the little fountain. And uh, that one would be it for this one. And then let's go back to our PowerPoint. And uh, and all of these, hey, Erica. <laughs> Base game always sounds easy, but it ends up being harder than you think sometimes. Uh, you really struggle when you do base game reno on the Park Shore lot once. <laughs> it's fun, but hard. Yes, I, I'll agree with that. I, 
I was like, yeah, sure, two lots, space game. And then, you know, I love doing the interior design a lot. So that was like, oh my gosh, I don't know how I'm going to do this. But it causes you to be really creative. And then, um, uh, sorry about that. We're having a lot of allergies around here, so you have to bear with me. <laughs> So uh, this next lot is such a uh, such a charming. I think it's Elargi Zuri, seventy six, uh, and the gallery is the uh, NCC Oak Starter twenty four, and uh, this is such adorable house. I mean, it reminds me of just like a small town, kind of a little bit of, you know, it's like Gothic Victorian inspired, you know. And everybody did really cool builds. Sometimes they had a lot of different kinds of amalgamations of theme, but um, I thought this was an adorable starter home. And here's a picture of that. And uh, yeah, I forget that I have these, you know, wonderful base game details that they used here on the porch and like the trestles and the railings. It's really nice. And uh yeah, I would totally, I would totally start her up in this home. Let me get into the game, and I'll have to go back. Loading into the gallery. <laughs> oh, must have won the gallery is best game. Once you start doing them, you remember what's available and just use those things in different creative ways. Yeah, I agree. All right, here is the starter. It's a it's a 20 by 15 lot and it's a one bedroom, uh, one bath home. I mean, this is perfect to get your Sims totally started. A real affordable way that's already furnished, adorable, beautiful. I mean, these are all going to be better than you're going to get in your regular game. So let's look at the whole building and let's turn off the grid. Great for building, but not so great for looking all right this is this is so cute this is so so cute and i love the little barbecue area over this little patio it's just so charming now i i forget about these pavers i i saw a few people use these and i was kind of jealous i didn't use those because they're so gorgeous so let's dive into this one And uh, if any of you are on here that are uh, content creators that are part of the challenge, uh, let us know, like, you know, send a link to your page in the chat. I mean, I know that's normally frowned upon, but in this situation, um, and this is mainly for the, you know, this is for the people who, who built in this challenge. But, you know, if you're watching the stream, I want you to be able to, I wasn't able to find everybody's links beforehand. Just getting together was quite a bit because it was kind of like last minute. So um, let's go and look. Uh, so this is one where you kind of like, like most homes of this size where you walk directly into the living room. Um, it's very realistic like that. And really nice. I love these double doors, the outside. And then this beautiful blue themed bedroom. And then it has its own really lovely bathroom. I love this flooring too so much. So cute. Oh my gosh. So we can just probably zoom down into here because. Oh, no, we want free cam. Thank you. I like free cam because then I can get the whole room up. Oh up to there that wasn't very good beautiful so yeah this is sweet this is a really sweet starter and i love the um stone fireplace it's difficult they really did good finding a good stone in base game it's like especially if you're using gray it's fine if you're trying to get it like a like a more brown uh stone it's very difficult to find a base game but i love this little kitchen i love these bookshelves too i use those in mine Oh, this is really nice. This tile is is one of the best base game tiles. I think it was used quite a bit, 
but you know it works in traditional it can work a little more modern not super modern but just uh, a touch and I, I love these these cabinets it's just a really cozy sweet style I should have stayed in the well I'll do that now <laughs> that's me constantly always going back and forth between cameras let's just look at the bedroom back it up there we go oh yeah this is nice this is really nice and the higher up windows for a little more privacy let's go down so we're kind of straight onto this all right yes and this adorable bathroom and it's very cohesive you know using the same for the kitchen and I like that it's a Jack and Jill, you know, in a house of the size, you're not going to have a ton of people living here. You know, some of the bigger builds, Jack and Jill's, I'm like, Oh my God, there's so many doors, but, um, it's a wonderful flow. And you know, if they're, let me go up this way, smaller spaces, sometimes it's better to look down on them a little bit, but you know, it's a wonderful flow in a, in a house of this size. Cause you can completely go all the way around the house. And for the person that lives here or the couple and it's, it's just so much more convenient to do it that way. You just have to remember to lock both doors in the bathroom or be really comfortable. <laughs> and we know what happens when uncomfortable Sims happen. <laughs> they walk in on somebody and it takes them forever to recover. All right, let's go back up to, let me go just back to manage worlds because we're gonna go into another build. And then let's minimize this. All right, so our next build is uh, in the Fern Park lot. Um, it's done by uh, Gallery ID met with us, and it's uh, Fern Park play tested. And here's how it looks on the gallery. Fern Park was built for the New Year Newcrest Community Challenge, hosted by SR Simmer, LV Mama, on the Sama B Discord. This is our take on a cozy modern home with room for four Sims, two parents, and two extra kids teams. So it's a three bedroom, two bathroom on a 30 by 20 lot. And it looks great. So here is a screenshot of the actual lot in the world. It's a really, I love, I love this so much. And then I think, oh yeah, that one didn't have inspiration. So let's go back into the Sims. <laughs> JB. And this is probably a starter home price too, which is great for people who just want a lower price house to start. Yes, yes, I, I agree. I mean, the last one could be totally a lot that I can move my Sims right into. You know, usually they can never afford the lots I build because I feel really expensive lot. I'm sorry, but you know, I'm one of those. But you know, we 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 do it the way we we like it. So, uh, you know, our play style or, or our build style, but it's, it's really, this, this challenge really made me appreciate just like the people who do all those base game builds and I'm going to do more base game builds you know, it's accessible to a lot more people who play the game. Um, I really appreciate that aspect of it. All right, let's get eyes on grid off. Let's get eyes on this whole place. All right, I love this so much. This is a gorgeous modern house. I love the little awning. That's so special. The landscaping is brilliant. These raised grass areas, all the levels. I mean, that's what makes a modern house interesting. You know, it's not about the roof. It's not about like super, your architectural features are the geometry and the negative space and the positive space. So I think, you know, I love this bump out window here. It's really incredible. This backyard is fantastic. I love the grass space and the raised um, little patio space, nice big bar, because <laughs> there are mainly only big bars in the game. <laughs> so I know somebody was like, can't we just get into little bar carts? You know, does everybody have to be like they own a, a you know, saloon? But, you know, in those big, in those really big builds, it's great because they take up a lot of room. So let's just look down at each floor, little bird's eye view. Oh, this is so great. I love this so much. 
Oh yeah, yeah, our entry's over here. Oh, oh no, here. <laughs> That's the side entry. This is a front entry. Takes a second. So yeah, you have your entry here, and it's kind of like your little entry mudroom area with shoes. That is so cute. A little backpack here. Um, and then we have like dining. Yeah, I think that's our only diner besides out, outdoor dining. It's probably in a pretty warm place, so you can spend a lot of your time dining outdoors. I love the clutter with the lunch boxes and the to-go. This is so good. I love me some clutter. Not in real life, but I do like in the game. In this build, oh my gosh, these cabinets. I love the way I did the cabinetry. And, and all the rooms, the built-ins are, are great. And we'll, we'll look at it more when we do a little walkthrough. Love, love, love. Like, uh, this is probably like, yeah, I'd say like a preteen room, it looks like. Probably someone who's like 12 or 13, gonna be a teenager or maybe just became a teenager. The colors are so, so cute. I love the uh, blue wall and the lavender wall, the art, um, those drapes. These drapes are so great uh, for base game drapes. I really am appreciative that we had them. Uh, oh, and it looks like they did like the shelf across the top to make it more modern to cover that rod. I love it. I love that. I, I now I, I should have thought of that. <laughs> and then we have this uh, ground floor full bath, which is really awesome. And then you go upstairs. Okay, here's our stairs. This is great. I love this little family hangout space. I mean, it looks over the playground downstairs. You can play chess and a reading corner. I mean, I would stay up here a lot. Look at that view. That's amazing. And I also love, love, love <laughs> this office. The colors. Well, I love, I love, okay, orange and blue. It probably is my favorite scheme. I've done tons of them. But um, for myself, I come back to it a lot. I just think those two colors together are so dynamite. And you mix it with these grays, these dark grays, and just, it's like sophisticated with the color pop. It's really amazing. And the hamper, you know, a lot because it's got a little guest, a little guest bed. I love that. And then storage. That's the perfect guest room office. That's a really great, great multi-use room. And then we have uh, this little family room, little rompus room. Most of the rompus rooms are in the basement, but people don't even use that name anymore. <laughs> I know that, yeah, the office rug, um, J.B. Morgan was saying uh, just that most people, I, I thought about that when I saw this rug. Most people don't know like the cool swatches it comes in. I didn't even use it. <laughs> Oh yeah, the handles on the windows, yes. Oh, it's really cool. They did a great job with these windows. So gorgeous. And then this perfectly fits into the built-in space. It's really nice to have these little setback niches. And I love they created like this floating uh, little media center out of the upper cabinetry. Uh, really, really clever. Oh, here's another good. Okay. Here's a bedroom. Yeah. I was really just loving how the, the built-in cabinetry, I designed cabinetry in real life. So <laughs> I was really appreciating how this was, uh, the built-ins in this place, along with the interior design and just the, the window treatments. And let me get, let me, I'll go do the walkthrough here because it's so pretty. I just want to do a little real walkthrough. We'll try to get our cameras. Okay. They feel pretty good. Let's get into, let me get a little closer. As soon as when you get into that, uh, free cam, you get a little, uh, it's a little slow to the go to get in the front door. I think I'm a little high too. All right. So let's just move over here, move back. Oh, Okay, there we go, there we go. So here is the really cute 
and colorful, adorable entryway. I love this kitchen. I love putting the wine rack on the side of the bar. Like that's just a clever like thing, like at a high end build you'd see added. And using two of these lights, um, light fixtures. It's so incredible. I love the like kind of modern, little bit of industrial, but you know, it's a really clean palette. I love the lilac. And of course the cabinetry is just gorgeous. It's so seamless. It's like an Italian kitchen. And I love the little um, indoor dining. A lot of times we have breakfast room in a larger home. What do we have over here? I think this is the bedroom. No, this is the bathroom. Oh yeah, this is that really cute little bathroom with the Clarastory windows. I use a sink too, and uh, I love that sink. For a base game, this is a really good sink. And uh, I love this grouping under the stairs, and these open stairs are so great when you're doing more modern build. And uh, these little shadow boxes. Such a nice, there's not a lot of art in base game. That's why a lot of times you have to go to the gallery for things for the walls, especially like just like wall treatments. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, um, I can find out for you. Once we get out of this part, I can look and see what this wood floor is. <laughs> it is beautiful. Look at that. That's a really clean, beautiful wood floor. I love this room with the dresser and matching desk. Um, it's so cool. And I love just like this like art station. It's almost like it's an art station nightstand. Such a good, such a good young adults, most likely girls room. And you know, it's like nice seeing the art pictures on the wall cause you know they paint and all the little makeup setup. That is so sweet. I'm loving that. <laughs> Be easier if I just back out of the room so I have to walk out backwards. Okay, so we already did that. Let's go up and I'll look at the top, the outside from the more exterior instead of walking out there, I think. Okay, we come up. Let's see this way. Let me get situated here. I, I know I love the clothes on the floor. I did that on one of mine. Well, it's just like the room just looked too clean to be like a teenage boy. I'm like, I got to put some clothes on this floor. <laughs> the clothes on the floor are not as good as some of the laundry day ones. You know, it looks kind of like some like art gallery uh, installation you would see like in New York City in like 1980 or something. <laughs> like the, the clothes. I'll have to show that when we walk through. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, this is that little family hangout area. And look at the view. Hey, they, they can see my house. <laughs> uh, I'm glad they don't have uh, one of those telescopes. I mean, they're really worried. All right. And that gorgeous off. Okay, let me let me back this baby up. All right. That gorgeous office. This is so good. I mean, this is big one. I mean, that's the thing about modern. You know, it's not as much about. And I think they can be really beautiful from the outside. And this is really beautiful from the outside. But, you know, it's just about the inside, just that openness, the glass. Um, this is really, I just love doing the guest room with the office, especially, you know, it's not a huge home. And this is a fantastic little hangout area. You know, the, like, I try to do that with my contemporary. Like, she did, like, the lavenders and the blues. It's really nice to add those and add, you know, like, the gold um, and the phonograph on the shelf. I just think it uh, adds so much. And then we have the exterior area out here. Oh, it's probably going to mess me up once I go outside. Let's see. Oh, no, it's kind of doing okay. I love this view. Look at that. Definitely live here in a heartbeat. I'd live in any of these, actually. <laughs> and that wonderful console made out of the uh, upper cabinets. And here's a gorgeous bedroom. I love this bed so much. I, th I think I used the same exact bed with that bedding in mine. <laughs> but you know, that's what's so cool, especially when you get as limited as base game. We have 15 different lots and they were all so very different. <laughs> uh, the coffee tables in the center, a lot, a lot of people do that now. They take the round side table and size it down to put the two together to make a coffee table. Yes, I love I love doing the nested coffee tables. Um, 
The only problem with that, uh, if you don't have your like OMSP shelf, is putting items on the lower coffee table. Once you've sized a coffee table down, it's really difficult. Even with that, you have to use that shelf or I don't know how people do it. I mean, you can use the 10, the control 10 and control zero, but let's go back out here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's that's, that's the only thing. I've done the nesting ones, but... Just so you're aware, like your stuff is not going to go on the bottom coffee table as easy as the one or the one that's been sized down as easy as the one that's not been sized down. So here's this great bathroom. I want to do a little backing up here. OK. Oh, whoop. There we go. There we go. Yes, this is so nice. So clean. I love these towels. Um, I love the striped towels. Like you get them in the right situation. This two-tone wall is really gorgeous. And uh, this flooring is some really great base game bathroom and kitchen flooring. Really good at bathrooms. I love the little rubber ducky. And, you know, it's just so clean. Just the white tile in the shower. The black shower matching the hardware of the towel racks. Um, it's, it's, it's really great. This is just so great. I love this house so much. <laughs> and then, uh, we can look to look at the exterior kind of with the, so here's that top patio. Don't do that. Maybe I'll free cam it just so it'll stop being like that. All right, there we go. Let's go down. Yeah, that's really sweet really sweet um, yeah and then the back patio get a little distorted in free cam but it doesn't bump you around as much as the sims 3 or sims 4 i don't know i use sims 3 camera <laughs> but uh the uh it's just personal preference i guess i mean maybe i should try sims 4 camera that might have some features that are better but, you know, it's like once you get into your comfort zone. So this was the Fern Park. Amazing work. Amazing. Let's get back to the, oh, no. I guess we do that. Yes. So, yeah, that was a Fern Park uh, play tested uh, by Met with us. All right. And then the next lot, wait, what's our neighborhood called? <laughs> Bridgeview neighborhood. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I had a lot, I got a lot of cramming. I felt like I was cramming for a test to get this all down to be able to do this. <laughs> but uh, so this next lot is the Beach Byway. Uh, the gallery ID is Ethelia. Athela, I hope I'm saying that right. Athela, if you're in here. <laughs> Hi, Wolfie. Welcome in. Welcome in. Fun to see you in on uh, the first uh, Sims stream of our cool New Crest New Year's Challenge. If you're just uh, joining us, uh, we are doing a showcase and tour of Sam and Bean's unofficial New Crest New Year Challenge. A uh, bunch of us Discord members over on Sam and Beans Discord. We um, were assigned these lots, and it's base game only. You can design anything you want, but it has to be base game, and it has to work and function. And thank you, SR Simmer, JB Morgan here on uh, YouTube, for uh, play tested these, put together spreadsheets, put together the assignments. I mean, really, really great. Hey, Christian, welcome back. So um, this is our, um, I believe, fourth lot in the uh, this neighborhood. Athela, um, it's a one bedroom, two bathroom lot, a 30 by 20. I feel like it had more than that, but we'll get in there. We'll get in there and see. Um, I had put three bedrooms on mine and they had two. So <laughs> Oops, I hope nobody gets mad at me in the gallery. And then this is the picture of the house in game surrounded by the other houses. Uh, so beautiful. 
I love I love this house so much. This is like the perfect kind of transitional suburban house. It's it's really it's really lovely. And um, I always love those transitional elements. You know, it's not modern, but it's not traditional. It's a very it's a very current way. <laughs> Oh, hey, Wolfie, you lurk, you lurk away. A lot of times we got stuff to do in the middle of the day, you know? So, um, and this one, and, and if there's inspiration, I try to, I'll put the inspiration photo that I have. Um, otherwise, they just came up with it on their own or just had maybe, uh, you know, a bunch of different inspirations that they followed for it. But I love, and I love the pavers on this, so we should get into game. I would go to go back to the world. And all right, yeah. This is our last residential lot over here because the other one is a uh, commercial lot. What was that called in the game? I think it's, I mean, in real life, it's a commercial lot. So, um, so yeah, to go into the game, this is Beach Byway, 30 by 20, and it's $106,000. and. 200 or $6,297. It's <laughs> not 297 cents. <laughs> um, let's go in build mode because I don't have any Sims living here. I thought about putting Sims into these houses, but then I'm like, I really don't want that extra element right now. I'd like to do like a live stream at some point once I get these houses with families in them and do like kind of a fun playthrough. With the different houses and the I don't know the neighborhood stories something cool like that so let's look at this whole thing oh this is fantastic this is so fantastic yeah this is like a starter plus it's so pretty um let me turn off the grid did I turn off the grid yeah no there it looks much better so let's just look around the house as a whole I love these pavers. When I saw this and how gorgeously this was done with the lights and the landscaping and the hedges, I was like, why did I use those pavers on anything? Um, it's just so great. I love all the rocks. I should almost free cam, but I'm not going to. Rocks around here. You know, the way they did the pavers around the pool and separated the grass areas. This is fantastic. So they sunk in the platform down below did the trim around it i don't know if that's one of those half wall trims and uh you know set this cool modern fountain down in there i saw that and i'm like i should have set mine down but <laughs> we get inspired and then this adorable back patio and eating area i mean this is such a fun and fantastic outdoor space so let's dive into the floor plan. And let's go. Look, where's our front door? Here's our front door. So the front door opens into this beautiful living room. And the interior of the house, you know, has so, so many similar elements of the exterior. You know, it's, it's a very transitional space. You have the more traditional curtains. You have the tufted couches, but they also have like an industrial modern element with the modern end tables, like the antique lamps. I mean, this is how people, you know, a lot of people decorate very eclectically. It's like that curated look. Like this house has been, you know, they've been putting this together over time. You know, and they probably hired an interior designer at the end just to kind of give it like some cohesion. But, uh... I love these pots with these these really colorful. I don't think I use those, and I should have. Um, these chairs are fantastic base game chairs. I love the shape and the open back, and this rug is incredible. I can't believe it's a uh, base game. It's such a great rug. And then they repeated the kind of living room sofas in the club chairs over here, kind of a nice loungy area. You know, like before dinner, or they're cooking, there's not enough, you know, room in the kitchen. And um, the kitchen is a separate space, but it's nice. It's open through an archway. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Erica, the landscaping on this one is incredible. And we'll look at, we'll look at that just, we'll look at the patios in a little more detail, like the exterior spaces once we come back. Um, yeah, I'll have to look at this cabinetry too more when we are like inside the rooms not looking down into them. Look at this cabinetry. 
I love it. I love that they did the glass corners. It's so beautiful. The, the shade right here over the window between the cabinets. Just all of that. All the clutter is, is clutterific. I would say beautiful. I love the open book. I always like it like the recipes open. <laughs> and this is a perfect art. And it's kind of a transitional art. You know, it's not super modern. Like the art is, is very, it's, it's kind of perfectly has, has uh, done that style. Um, and this bathroom is, is absolutely incredible. Oh, I forgot that was this other. I'll just, it's an extra one that got put in there. <laughs> so, <laughs> first time I looked at it, I was like, okay. Um, so this is really nice. This is really nice. I love the black and gray. It's just such a classic, classic look. And um, yeah, the shower, this shower is really great because you can see the tile behind it. It's like if you can find the right colorway in the shower, it's a, it's a really versatile one to use. And then these adorable. I love when they have little robes. I mean, even the light switch. <laughs> That's amazing. I don't think I went that far, and I like get like tediously detailed. <laughs> I am I am so impressed. Are they in every? Oh my gosh! I think they're in every room. Let's just applaud. <laughs> I'm going to, um, I'm going to also pull these up here so I can, uh, talk about, yeah. Athela, um, or Athela. I think it's Athelia. And then I love how they did, um, the bedroom and the draperies. I love how like one side's pulled back and the other one's straight. I can totally see some, you know, it's like a normal thing that would happen in life. And this is a really cute bed in white. It's really nice with those nightstands. Um, and again, you know, it's like total transitional elements. Like there's some traditional things mixed in with some industrial and it all works so beautifully. Like I love the wood of this countertop. Like a lot of this would be like shop counters or like an industrial loft, but they work so well here and so well with this, like, you know, and I think I called this a more transitional tile before, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Tales Kingdom of Cozy, welcome in. We are doing our uh, new Crest uh, Challenge Showcase Tours. Right now, we're in uh, the Beach Byway, uh, Athela's uh, submission. And all of these, um, these lots are listed in the description. There's also um, a, a link to uh, Sam and Bean's Discord. Uh, Sam and Bean, such an amazing content creator. This is an unofficial uh, challenge on uh, her Discord. Um, and she does everything about building uh, different architectural styles uh, and also roofing tutorials. If you're, if you're having any issues with builds. And also there's a lot of help on the actual um, Discord. And uh, she also does help videos. So... I wouldn't be here right now. I would be doing a different type of video, but um, I'm doing this video because of Sam and Bean. I've loved being in this community. So I have to just gush a little bit, but um, it's been, it's just been a wonderful experience. And, and Sims is a big world out there and I'm used to my Disney Dreamlight Valley world, which is kind of more cozy and small. So um, th this discord is, I've really met a lot of amazing people and they've been really supportive of me, even though I'm a very new content creator in the Sims, you know, I've been doing other games, but um, you know, I do have an architectural interior design background. So I feel like it's kind of a natural place for me to be. Um, so we've looked at, I think all the main areas. Oh, this office, let's just look down in there because it's gonna be a little harder to see this when we go room by room. I love this office, so beautiful, this creamy wallpaper. I mean, this is so lovely. And then these drapes are really fantastic. And they just kiss the floor. That's how I love them like that. <laughs> yeah, this was this was so fun to do. I, I'm, I'm really honored to have been part of this challenge. So let's try to do a little quick tour in free cam. Where's our front? Okay. <laughs> We're on our regular camera, but I want to get closest I can to the front. Okay. I want even closer. And we'll free cam it now. I'm free camming. All right. And this will get smoother with every tour. I've been practicing just for the tours, but uh, 
Yeah, it seems to go in a little slow. And it's going to be, I'm going to have to lower, I think. I think this would be, and like CAD and stuff, you generally do it at like a five foot eye height, kind of for like men and women. It probably should be taller now because the standard height is taller. I'm short, but um, all right, let's go back as far as we can. Oh, this is a nice long living room, so I can just really play and show a lot. Okay, there we go. This is just gorgeous. I love all the grays and the whites and the the lavenders. It's so just so cozy and this like smeared like plaster brick in the kitchen is to die for. And it also it's like the thing with this house with this kind of transitional mix of some industrial. It's like most people would be like, how do you do that? But just they did it here. And then even this tile works with that. It's so gorgeous. I mean, this kitchen is definitely more modern than transitional, but some of the other features, you know, have some more traditional elements. And so many homes, you know, are doing that. It's like, you, you know, you're more comfortable with a blend of styles. You have like a curated style. I love this open dining room and uh, that just really makes the space just feel huge, much bigger than the house actually is. And then uh, over here with the bathroom. Yes. And we, oh, let me get inside so we don't get clipped by that wall. Let's try to get back as far as we can. I hate when things get too distorted. So <laughs> Yeah, this bathroom is absolutely gorgeous and the art is just perfect for it. And this is all in-game art. I don't think I've seen um, art that's not in-game in this one. I'll, uh, quite a few people use the the art you can find on the gallery. I didn't even know about this till recently. And when I found it out, I was like, ooh, I was so excited. It was like a godsend. Okay, I'm going to go down and then try and get into the free cam from here. Where's our stairs? Oh, there. <laughs> I'm like, okay, it goes down in this room. Okay, let's see. Free cam. All right. Free cam. Now I want to go back a little bit. I don't want to distort this too much. So again, we have those draperies up here. Of course, they're not going to kiss the floor because they're high up. And this wonderful little family area. I love that. I mean, most of the time in these houses like this, you have this little like central space, which is like a family hangout. So it becomes a kid's playroom. Let me go down a little. Okay. And then here's that office. I just love it. I love it. And you know, it's almost like the grays and browns. Like this is kind of a, a taupe uh, color on the damask. And then uh, the creams and the whites and the grays. I mean, it just it's just so cozy. It feels just like so nice. Like I just want to have a glass of white wine and write a long novel in that office. <laughs> and here's the lovely, gorgeous bedroom. It's so springy with like the different monochromatic greens. I love it. It's so verdant, open, welcoming. Like, I feel this is just such a restful and beautiful palette. And then they have like the open closet here, which is really cute. This is a great face game uh, dresser and mirror. Um, I love the little bit of distressing on it and just to, to accents with the little pair. Like they just, they pulled in all of these green accents over here. I love monochromatic rooms. They can be really fun. <laughs> ah! Welcome, Met, with us. <laughs> I'm so glad you could join in. Have you gotten to see your full your full build? Because I'm on your place now. And we are loving it. We are just loving it. And like I said, I love the pullback curtain with the straight curtain. It just gives that, like, kind of lived in. Like, they just woke up and pulled back one of the curtains. So cute. This is probably their bathroom, the private bathroom. Oh, yeah. This bathroom I was gushing over earlier. Like I said, I love the transitional design elements that, you know, mixed with uh, some of the little bit of industrial elements and they all work together. Like, you know, and, and this bathtub tone is perfect with the tile and the, and the white tile inside. I mean, this is just fantastic. Like such a blend of styles, so curated. Like this is exactly 
what a family home would be if they, you know, curated and collected these things over many years. And here is another shot of that, like, upstairs hangout area. <laughs> And then we have kind of the overview. And then let's look outside one last time. Oh, yeah, this little patio is just adorable. So cute. I love this swatch in this chair. I should have used that swatch. I used those chairs, and I was doing kind of this African thing. I didn't use that swatch. Maybe it would have been too much. <laughs> But this is gorgeous. This is really gorgeous. Um, the landscaping is, is spectacular. You know, you have this fantastic pool. The geometry of the pool is really nice. And I love the dark trim with a lighter tile. Um, just a gorgeous house. Awesome. So that was a uh, beach byway. And the information to download it is on the um, in the description below. And then now we're going to end up going to the commercial lot. So this in the bridge view, I wanted to call it Riverdale, but <laughs> I think that's from a TV show. Um, Yes, this in the Bridgeview neighborhood is the Midtown Meadows Park. And uh, this this turned out so gorgeous. This is uh, gallery ID uh, My Weird Normal. And the name on the gallery is Midtown Meadows Park. Um, I, I didn't go into the galleries to show these because your pictures are better and we'll see them in person. And it just for expediency of going through uh, 15 lots. So this was inspired by the New Orleans Botanical Park. Enjoy a stroll through Newcrest native plants outside or peruse exotic desert plants within the facility. Includes plenty of activities for the whole family, plus a wedding arch for any couples wishing to elope. I mean, that is amazing. <laughs> that is a lot of function in one building and it's so cool. So here is the inspiration photo of this bot botanical gardens in New Orleans. And then here is a photo of the um, exterior uh, over the building and the exterior of the build, which is, it looks incredible. Just an incredible job. I mean, you know, this is hard to, to recreate stuff in The Sims. You know, building stuff is already difficult, but recreating builds, as we all know, is really, really hard. And thank you guys for those nine likes. If you haven't liked this uh, stream yet, uh, if you do, please like it. <laughs> if you don't, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure there's other stuff that's more fun. <laughs> No, I think this is going to be a, this is a blast. I'm, I'm enjoying this a lot. All right, let's get back in The Sims. Hey, we got another like. I'm always doing that. I'll be watching a, a thing and I'll be like, oh my gosh, I haven't liked this whole thing. I've been sitting here for 40 minutes. <laughs> okay, well, that was, we just completed one whole neighborhood. Look at us, guys. It's been an hour and we've gotten one whole neighborhood done. I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed. And then I think, uh, so now the next neighborhood, I'm going in order that SR Simmer, who's JB Morgan on here, uh, has set up. Thank you so much. It's made my job a lot easier. Um, the uh, Llama Lagoon. No, that's over here. Sorry. Llama Lagoon neighborhood. <laughs> um, this is, we just were in like the starter neighborhood over here. <laughs> you didn't realize that was a museum <laughs> um so we just did uh the bridgeview neighborhood over here and that that's like starter homes it also has that beautiful botanical oh wait a minute we've got to go into the thing i got ahead of myself i got ahead of myself we want to look at the actual building you guys if i get ahead of myself tell me <laughs> it's just I'm trying to stay organized, but 
the brain wants what the brain wants sometimes. Okay, let's look at this bad boy. Now, this is the Midtown Meadows Park. Uh, the gallery ID is My Weird Normal. And it's also called Midtown Meadows Park. And so a lot of this, let's look at this because, uh, you know, a lot of what's going on with this build is outside because it's a botanical garden. And so, yeah, the outside is for native plants, of course, because they can handle being outside. I love the little chess tables, the statuary. Okay, I've got to say this right now. These lights, these little like tulip lights, I, I don't know if I've ever seen them. And I've never seen them used like this. This is just amazing and so inspiring, this fountain. I mean, I did this fountain inside of the pool with the lights, with the little geysers. I mean, this is incredible. I mean, just this alone, perfect build. <laughs> then you add all this other stuff, and here's a wedding arch. So gorgeous. And the building itself, I mean, I just love, oh, let me take the grid off. I'm so sorry. I just love, like, this glass dome and with the tree. But, you know, you see that. That's a very greenhouse sort of thing because they need the sun. And uh, inside they're doing uh, desert plants. It looks like some tropical plants as well. Um, plants that wouldn't necessarily grow where this is. Of course, if it's supposed to be New Orleans, but <laughs> um, and then let's look at the back area. Oh, my gosh. So here's like the cookout area and the bathrooms. Just so brilliant. And I just love how these tables are kind of askew in the one little like high chair. That's so sweet. I love the kids play area with the pirate ship. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> J.B. Morgan, you like to put restrooms outside too? People forget that exists sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, those are, yeah, that's really cool. I mean, there's so many things in this game, and I think it is really important to try and do, I know SR Simmer uh, does mostly base game builds, and, uh, and that's an amazing builds. I mean, I, I think really amazing builds. And you can do a lot with the base game. So um, this is just uh, really, really, really impressive with like the activities, um, the monkey bars, the sandbox. I, I mean, so much is fit on this lot. I mean, it's not a huge lot. I mean, it's a let's see, 40 by 30. I mean, it's not a huge lot. And for a public lot, so much. So let's go and look at the floor plan. Yeah, I'm going to have to learn this sandbox hack. <laughs> I guess it's a known thing. Maybe I don't know too much about it. So there's like a central gallery, which is gorgeous with this tree and the seating and the statuary and the planter boxes on the side. I mean, it's so wonderful. I love like the children's play space. Absolutely incredible. This divider wall. You know, I love, and I love it's like a lower divider wall. That's really neat. And the little, like, chairs. and t I mean, so much fit in here. So well thought out. And, like, interactive activities. Really great. I just wouldn't want to be the kid, like, sitting on the potty while, like, you know, 50 people are coming through here. <laughs> but that's me. <laughs> and then I'll have to play to... <laughs> see what that's like when I'm playing it. That'll be fun. Um, th this gardening room is absolutely gorgeous. So look at all these details. Look at all these details. I love the Katarina doll. Oh my gosh. And the little signs, the little signs, the little nameplates for each, like, each grouping. That's so cool. That's so cool. I'll have to use this for labeling stuff in like public spaces because it's so cool. Let's let's walk through the space. Like I want to look at the ceiling, you know, that's gonna be really fun. All right, let's let's get this bad boy. Here we go. Let's go into get a little closer. Free cam. 
I hate when it like goes back and forth between, you know, free cam and the Sims 3 camera. Okay. Well, at least I'll get to figure out where I want to be here. I think down here. Like I say, I try to be like five and a half feet. I, I don't know what that is in the game. It's like such build up, like bum, bum, bum. Here we are. Okay. Now let me uh, go back. Okay, this one doesn't go back. I think I'm gonna move over to this corner to go back further a little bit. Okay, because then, oh, please. Go back a little more. Oh, and then let's go here. Okay, there we go. I didn't want to distort too much. So yeah, here is the ceiling. Oh my God, this had to be so difficult to do. But I mean, it's so beautiful. I really love it. I will, I will come hang out here all the time. And it's just like art that you would, you know, you would find in a botanical museum. It's so pretty. I love these corners, the raised beds. I need to do more of that, that raised bed thing. It's really cool. Let me go down even a little further just to really, I'm going to get back further. It may distort it a little more, but just to really get a feeling of the grandness. It's not a huge space, but because it's the dome ceiling, it's a grand space. Let me go inside because I'm going to flip back. Oh, I guess I have to go back in. Let's see if it'll take us to where we were before. We're taking the elevator down. I can't wait till we get working elevators in The Sims. Just thinking of elevators. Okay. <laughs> the showcase for me griping about not having elevators. Okay, this is absolutely incredible. You can really see these details so well. The planter boxes, the displays. The work, uh, the work table. I mean, there's so many activities in here. It's so great. Let's just move this back. This is great. Now, I love being able to get as much of a view of room as I can get. Like you're really in there. Um, this is so cute. I love the little train. Um, the central area. So fun. Oh, and I adore, adore this little wheeled cart. I mean, you can't push it around, but. It is super cute for any like planting area. Elevator, you have elevators in Sims 3? See, I just started playing Sims, period. <laughs> so Sims 4 is the one I picked because, you know, that's the most current one. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, you know what? I've got a few questions to answer. Whoa, sorry. <laughs> You were wanting to know the display tables. Let me see. Let's just look. Okay. Which display tables are we looking at? Are these guys here? I think it's like, it looks almost like two tables, like a console table and a coffee table. Is Are these the ones you're talking about? Yeah, it's a Tabula Rosa coffee table and the Tabula Rosa console table made into a two-tiered table. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> yeah, I saw so much of this type of stuff. And there's probably stuff I even missed that I didn't see. Um, and I forgot, uh, well, one of you was asking about the flooring, but I know that you have these um, these files, so I won't go back to that build for that. Oh, we were going into the kids area. Let's do that. That's really fun. Let's go back in our free cam. Um. All right, let's go into this. This space is so, I love this playroom. Well, it's kind of like, you know, just the interactive. Everything is so cool. You got the little interactive bookcase. You put the Grogu doll in. So I love the build already. <laughs> All the builds that put a Grogu doll in win. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a big Grogu fan. Mandalorian. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I love the little blocks, the interactive stuff on the car. This carpet is so, so cute. It's really cute. I love it. And it's one of those things, you know, it could be kids or it could be in a fun, playful, modern build. Um, yeah, it's one of those things you just got to remember the swatches. And it was nice going back to kind of narrow down the swatches. Oh. <laughs> You never use move objects, J.B. Morgan. 
Yeah, I know. I, I clutter up way too much. So I have to, I, I go insane if it's off. Of course, I do build better buy. So it already has it on. Thank goodness. But I have to reinstall that now that there was an update. So anyway, let's go and kind of look back at, um, oh gosh, look at this wall. Look at this area. This is nice too, because it's like kind of a little parents, like kind of bench. Like they can sit and watch their kids or wait for them to finish playing. And of course, the beautiful views. This, this just building fits this neighborhood so well. All of the builds did. Like you look outside and you look, you know, when you're outside looking in. This is so really fun. Let's go out the back. Let's just walk like we're going out to the garden. Oh, yes. Look at this. I want to I wanna flip some burgers right now. And I want to play on the pirates thing. I don't care what the kids say. <laughs> this is so beautiful. And then uh, let's go back to our last exterior. I think it's only one story. Yes. So beautiful. So beautiful. So magical. Oh, I love this little ballet girl statue. I use her in like every base game build. Almost every build, even not base game, we don't have enough like statues like that. Like they have to be like military statues or they're like just, you know, really modern. Like I'd love to have just like like more sculptural, you know, Greco-Roman or anything like that. But, you know, you take what you can get. You'll pay for it either way. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh... JB uh, pointed out, you know, leaving the openings in the fence so they can go out to the um, the pond in the back right through here. And uh, yeah, that's just a really that's just a really great touch because you really wouldn't want it to go here and then back over there. So, you know, it's nice when you build if you know that's your lot to be building with thought of the world surrounding it. And I feel like every single lot that I saw here did that in such a spectacular way. Like it just, I mean, look at it from here. This is, this is, this is the neighborhood. It just feels so seamless. And there's many different types of architecture, but it just seems like any neighborhood, I think that's what makes it more real. You know, it's not so ticky tacky pat, you know? <laughs> All right, <clears throat> so I almost went ahead and <laughs> without showing that bill, bad me. And that's and that's such an incredible build. I would have to go back. But um, so that was the Bridgeview neighborhood, and then uh, let's go. Well, let me go into how are we doing here. So we're a little over an hour. We got one neighborhood down. I'm pretty impressed. Um, I mean, not like oh, with me. <laughs> time impressed <laughs> and I hope it didn't speed through anything too much I really try to take you know all the time uh that each uh deserves because they're all incredible okay so now our next neighborhood I mean we talked about uh we'll see how fast we get through this neighborhood these are these are some bigger houses so um this one is the next one. This is, uh, so Llama Lagoon and definitely the fancier part of town. I mean, they got the two big, they get like the kind of waterfront where all the canals converge. Um, the lots are bigger. So you just kind of know they're probably schmancier. Um, and, uh, so we just had our starter home and now we're having our, you know, moving on up. You, you've been working hard, your family's expanding, you know, you're, you're making those simoleons. So you got to get to the next one. So let's um, look at the next one. This is the Llama Lagoon neighborhood. And there are four residential lots and there's uh, one public lot, which is a museum library. So our uh, first lot, I'm sorry I didn't do the titles on this neighborhood up top, but I have them written down. And um, so this one is the uh, asphalt abode. I know that you see most of the stuff in the um, gallery shot, but um, just sometimes I had to cut off the name because I wanted to be able to see exactly what everybody said. If there was something specific about the build they wanted us to know. <laughs> hey, Mariah. <laughs> Mm 
welcome in. <laughs> and um, so this uh, New Crest Rebuild is a dancer on Delhi TTV. I believe also a content creator. I've seen some content videos. So uh, uh, dancer on Delhi, if you're here um, in the chat watching the stream, you can put your um, a link to your YouTube or your Twitch channel. I think you do Twitch, um, just so people know, and they can they can join your channel and see your amazing work because you did uh, dancer on Delhi did two uh, incredible uh, builds for this challenge. Um, this is a residential, two bedrooms, three bathrooms. It's a 30 by 20 lot. Um, it's kind of like a, a, I mean, I'll show you the, let's look at the house. Okay. That's the, the lot, the lot, the, the gallery screenshots are a lot more fuzzy. The, the, the pictures, uh, this one, um, I think the, was taken by SR Simmer, uh, who is JB Morgan here on YouTube. Um, she took a bunch of screenshots, which was fantastic. Helped me out a lot. I took some screenshots. Um, if there was like a front angle missing or whatever, or some neighborhood shots, but a lot of these shots were uh, taken by her. And, um, this is, is a really fantastic home. Um, you know, it's, it's got a lot of the, the Victorian elements. Um, but it's kind of like a more modern Victorian, like some, you know, somebody would build a Victorian a little later. Um, a little bit of, I think, Eastlake uh, Victorian elements. Um, and this build inside is so, so fun. And, you know, I think the the pink flamingo on, and then there, oh, I missed, I'll have to show you when we go into the build. Because there is a really cute uh, little uh, gnome riding the other flamingo, <laughs> which is the most adorable thing. I'm a sucker for things like that. Okay, let's let's get down in there and let's look at it. Oh yeah. So Mariah, is this your build? Sometimes I don't have the let's see, what's what's the YouTube name? I don't I need to get that out on the YouTube name. Uh, yes, feel free. Free to drop a, I mean, if you, if you're a builder in this challenge, drop a link <laughs> to your discord, uh, I mean, not discord, drop a link to, uh, your YouTube channels or Twitch channels in here. Um, and then, all right. And so. We have the exterior here, absolutely gorgeous. All right, I love this. I love. This. Oh, here, here we go. Here we go. There's the <laughs> no I'm on the flamingo. <laughs> so fantastic! I love it so much. And then the backyard. Oh my God, this build is so incredible. This is so fun. And I do, I do love the colors in this a lot. And, and the whole exterior vibe is like, you know, taken into the interior and it's done in such like an elegant way. Like seriously, um, it's, it's so bright and fun. I mean, it feels to me, especially when you see the interior shots, like, you know, a bright, fun family home. And, uh, yeah, I love this little, this little like space cruiser, um, little playground. The pavers are so beautiful with the house. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 Uh, JV was asking if this, this, uh, paint right here in the backyard was terrain paint. <laughs> Oh, you had to refresh your stream. Okay, I hope everything's good. I hope it's nothing on my end. Um, if if there is any uh, quality issues on my end with the screen, just let me know and we can fix that during the, the lunch break. <laughs> the 
Those are tiles, these parts here. Oh my gosh, that is the cutest. And just, it's so hard. I was having a possible time getting any pavers or stairs to match with my, my base game, like flooring. But oh my gosh, and in this adorable out, outdoor area here. Incredible. All right, let's, oh, let's drop the grid. I'm very sorry I had the grid on during yours. I mean, this exterior is so epic, I love it. All right, yeah, this is this is a bad boy. I love this little round window up here. It's just a gorgeous house, really gorgeous. And I, and I love the use of the siding and the brick, so pretty. Let's go into the floor plans. Oh, good, good. I'm glad, I'm glad it wasn't. I actually had some severe OBS issues uh, um, when I was when I was making my last uh, Dreamlight Valley video. And I mean, it was such a beautiful build and everything was like blurring with every movement. I mean, really badly. So it was driving me insane. So I finally fixed some settings and I hope that they're working here. Like I said, um, I can always fix them on the brakes. Um, let's see, the front door's here. This is so fantastic. So you walk into the entry here. It's open to the rest of the house. So, you know, it's like kind of, you know, has big, very much Victorian elements, but then you see that it's more like modern Victorian. It's, it's, it's a bit more of an open floor plan uh, than uh, like an, a Victorian from the late 1800s, the early 1900s. Um, this, the colors are so gorgeous. I love this turquoise, but it's just so, you've done it in such a classic way. Like it just feels like a fun family home, you know? And again, these, these, industrial uh like kind of loft like kitchen looks so brilliant here and it's really inspired me because sometimes i'll i love to want to use that and then i'll be like oh well maybe it's to this or that but i mean look at it it's perfect it's so perfect here and more gnomes with all the lunch boxes and the backpacks oh my gosh I'm going <laughs> to, this kitchen is awesome. <laughs> okay. Let me just say for the size of house and this area that this layout is, is so economical and brilliant. And it even creates this like islands. So like give your L shape two L shaped kitchens. It's, it's so amazing. Like I'm going to steal this in real life. This is great. <laughs> and then this breakfast area is just adorable. I think we had a little booper. There we go. Oh, 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 I think it's a move object on thing that happened. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very sorry that happened in the download. It didn't download that way into mine, but I'm using I'm using the save file today. So I didn't want to have to move my families out that I was play testing with. So I decided to go with the save pile that uh, SR Simmer um, generously uh, sent me. And, oh my God, I love this living room. I love this rug with this wallpaper. And then, you know, just having a lot of the flat colors like the purples and the turquoise, the glass coffee table. And again, this built-in is to die for. Oh my gosh, with like the glass console table and then the cabinetry. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. That's like really amazing. You got your fire suppression, perfect place for it, like over here. And I love the little plants in the front here. And, uh, yeah, this bathroom. I, I just love the turquoise and the purple. And it works so well. Oh, and this tile is so cute. Every time I see a tile that somebody else uses, I'm like, why don't I use that tile? But, I mean, <laughs> you got to stick within your style. <laughs> Oh, Erica, and it's such a nice home, and you can really tell the Sims who live here bring their personality into the home in every way. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, it's the cloud shelves. Yeah, um, yeah, I used the cloud shelves in one of my nursery builds, the rainbow cloud shelves. But yeah, they the the swatch, this this like wood swatch is so cute. I kept having toy, all the toys disappear off my cloud shelf though. Like I could never, like I'd come back and it would be gone. So I didn't know why that was happening, why that glitch was happening. <laughs> uh, 
Well, you know, the thing with the cabinets uh, not working in this space, you know, it, it makes sense. It is, it is a tight little space. It's more of a space for shelves. And your kitchen has so many lowers, you know. it's It's got so much lower storage that you don't need, like, clunky cabinets up here. I mean, I think that was a brilliant choice. I mean, if it were my build over here, it would be sh some sort of shelving. And this was so creative. I mean, just the, yeah. I'm like, can I gush anymore? <laughs> it's like I love everybody's stuff so much. I'm just I'm just like proud mama. I'm like, oh. Okay. And then up on the second floor. We haven't even done the little walkthrough. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Can I tell you how much I love this bedroom? I love this wallpaper. This ombra. Um what's it called? I can just tell you. Imaginary sunsets, yes. And if you if I'm in here and you guys see something, you want to know what it is, you know, I can get my little thing out and look <laughs> most important thing is a coffee pot i have to see what's up. <laughs> for some reason <laughs> like coffee pot what's going on yes <laughs> it is the most important thing i wish we could place coffee pots better like even with move objects on and like everything else it's so hard to place coffee pots because they have to go on a counter and i wish computers didn't just have to go on a desk like it'd be cute to put one in a chair like an ottoman or put it in the floor like i know i use the sunset in like the really gray tones of my 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 contemporary but i think it's so subtle that pattern i love this orange to pink this was like Oh, it's one of my favorite combos. I love tropics and I love like, you know, and mixed with the cool blues, you know? And I know this rug probably was a very inspiring for that, or I don't know if the rug came after the wallpaper. We have the, the original uh, artist on here today, <laughs> Mariah. Dancer on Delhi on, uh, I believe, Twitch. Am I saying that correct, Mariah? <laughs> and if I say your name's wrong or your, or your, you know, avatar name's wrong, just let me know. <laughs> uh, JB, you put computers on dining tables all the time, so you don't use the desk because you can put two computers on one small dining table. That's true. You know, most of us who like stream and do all that stuff, and I, I do interior design and 3D modeling, you know, I have a huge, a lot big computer space, you know, with lots of screens. Um, I want to start maybe designing some of those um, soon. I'm going to be doing a, a um, warehouse uh, that I've made these different lofts in, and they're very different from each other, and I want to do, like, different aspirations in. So, um, yeah, you guys are giving me lots of ideas. All right, let's do the floor plan look because I want to do the little walkthrough of this guy. And this bathroom is just beautiful. This wallpaper is so gorgeous. I think I tried using it a few times. Maybe I did, but like so pretty. I always see how everybody use, uses it and it's just so lovely. The swatch with this flooring is just to die for. And I love that they have the simple roller shades in the base game. That's really nice when you don't want a real fussy treatment. And then, um, so that's like the adult's room. And then this is like a kid's room for two kids. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I love the pink and blue. Um, like it could be a brother and sister, a little kid. They could be twins. Um, or it could just be anybody, two boys, two girls. Probably one girl living here, I assume. I love, okay. I love all the animal Warhols, like all three of them. That I That is so cute. <laughs> so adorable. A little fish tank. I love the clutter. This rug just ties it all together. Oh my gosh. Look at this corner shelf over here and this little, oh, this little uh, Curiosity's electrifying poster is so cute in a kid's room. And of course, this little guy, Uni, isn't he the one that the parents and mean people that hate kids beat up? <laughs> I would always have people come in. I'm like, why are they beating up into children's toys and smashing the dollhouses? Like, this some, I, these people need help. And I love the little Christmas lights. Oh my gosh, I mean, what kid did not have like some Christmas lights strewn? You know, when you're a kid, you think that's the coolest thing. And just the use of this little cubby, because you know, you have to have the stairs here so this can be the landing. Um, What else did we not? We didn't see this bathroom. I love this bathroom. I love this bathroom. The way you use this wallpaper, it's so cute, you know? 
And with this flooring, I think it works so well, especially with this build. It's really, really fun. And the best place to use a crazy wallpaper, like in small bathrooms like that. What? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wish hanging lights. Uh... I don't, oh, those lights. Oh, these hanging lights. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, the bunny guitar. It's all about the bunny guitar. I had to take mine out of my build because they, they couldn't use it for some reason. And I moved it all around. I couldn't figure it out. So I'm like, I'm just leaving. And maybe they weren't the right age to use it. That can be things sometimes. Okay. And then we have, oh, my gosh, this to die for patio. This, this little... Uh, this little planter is really brilliant. I've used it in a lot of builds and it totally just creates almost like a fully planted greenhouse effect in a space that's not very big. Oh, and then I love the little purple easel out here. And I love that you chose that color. It's just everything in here is so lovely. And then I believe there's this top floor. Love these little top floors. Oh my gosh. This, oh yes, I remember. I've gone through these a few times. So. <laughs> okay, this playroom is absolutely brilliant. I love the modern dollhouse in here. Of course, we got the cloud shelves again. Um, you know, the toy box. I love the little uh, wizard science set. This is so cute, how you put this inside the little planter. Like it's another little toy storage. Then we have a little art station. I just love how many activities. It'd just be so fun. And the best part of this whole thing is like, you know, it's like mom's really nice office. She gets her work done and she can look and watch out over the kids. Like it's already telling like a really cool story. <laughs> oh, this mural is difficult to fit. Yeah, this mural is gorgeous. And with this wallpaper, I mean, your use of color is, is exceptional. It's really, really exceptional. You know, it's it's kind of more like in world design. And I'm I I have that palette too in real life. I love I love decorating with color. And you know, the rest of the world is much more colorful than here. I'm in Texas, you know, here in the United States. Um, you know, of course, what I love about playing these games is meeting people from all over the world, you know? Like I have friends I talk to from all over the US, all over Europe, uh Australia. It, it's amazing. Um just the community. I never thought I would be communicating with so many like people from so many diverse places. It's like a way to travel without traveling. All right, let's do the little walkthrough. This is a bigger one. So, oops. Oh, no. Let's not do that. <laughs> I meant to get the camera. All right. Free cam. All right. I feel like we're a little... Well, I guess we can get... I'm going to get out of free cam. Sorry used to my what camera I'm in so let's get closer oh we are in free cam okay let's just stay in free cam it's just going to take a minute to get to the front door if any of you know how to do it oh no it's not oh maybe I'm, I learned something today oh okay okay so if I push this it's a little faster I mean you know Okay, so you come in, and here's the little entry vestibule, the stairs, this amazing kitchen I love so much. It just works so well. Let me, let me, let me do this. It's the long part. Let's back up, back up, back up. So I just want to see it a lot more. Yeah, I'd have to move objects on to move the drape. Sometimes when things download, they place weirdly. <laughs> I met with us. You're from Denmark, Scandinavia. And to be honest, all that color kind of scares me, but it's so impressive how you make it work and look good. Yeah. <laughs> yes, this is, this is a master class in like playful family, like color. I mean, it's really, I was so impressed. I mean, I've seen the ones, you know, that, that don't get it right, but this was just, I, I just, it made me smile. I would love playing this, uh, the save file so much. 
I'm going to have a lot of fun. And then the gorgeous fill tints, you know? I just think this house is so well appointed and elegant. So the colors really work. And just the, the way they're all combined. You know, it's like you didn't do all these crazy patterns. I mean, you could get all Maximus. I love Maximus. But, you know, you did the solid and kind of matched the chairs so that, you know, the real fun wild patterns. And they're all kind of stripes, you know. And even in the art, it's, it's just perfect. It's good. Yes. How to work with color 101. <laughs> ah, JB prefers a more Scandinavian lifestyle. <laughs> I know the balloon light. Oh my gosh. It's so crazy that that really works here. Honestly, it's really inspired me as I do like working in color. Oh, and there's this rug again that we saw used in a totally different way in that office earlier in the oranges and blues and grays and, you know, just a masterful clutter. Did we look at the little breakfast area? I don't think we did. This is just so cute. Look at these views. Oh, I would just love to have my morning coffee right after I had my morning swim. I'm so moving in. <laughs> ah. And the dining room, I don't think I noticed this when I first was going on the top down. Um, not I noticed the dining room, but um, I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's go back a little. I don't want to distort too much on the field of view, but just enough to really, I love like rooms looking into rooms. Like they chose the same kind of fun wild wallpaper for both of them. And that really makes it work. And then here, like a very neutral table. So that like in a neutral rug where the wallpaper is like the star. And of course, what I was saying, I didn't see. Oh, let me, I gotta stop getting excited and darting my eyes around. Okay, <laughs> I guess like, you have to look at that. This, this another floating like uh, cabinet. I'm gonna do more of these. I don't know why I don't think of it more often of like the upper cabinets um, used as floating cabinets and with the bar. And I love, I love this so much. And, you know, this this bar back being base game is really amazing. So let me, oops. Oh, I know what happened. I got out of my, oh, no, I'm still in free cam. Sometimes it just starts cutting things off if you change angles in free cam because, let me just get out of free cam. <laughs> Let's go back down so we can just get a better shot of that room. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now we're back and probably higher up a little bit. So move. Yeah, when you change direction, sometimes you got to just get out of the free cam camera. Unless you guys have a better way. I mean, you guys have been playing a lot longer than I have. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love the way they did the curtains in these windows. It's, it's really incredible. It looks like they were made for it. Like the way the bottom piece just perfectly aligns with that part. I mean, it seems like they were installed for that window. And I love the little palm tree art. That's just really, really cool. Yeah. I don't know why I don't use this wallpaper more. I guess it's just, you know, sometimes I'm going with the vibe already and I don't. But hey, you know, I've only been playing Sims 4 for like, or Sims period for like four months. So <laughs> this is very exciting. I've been, I've been learning from the masters. Um, let's see. Get in, let's get in the longest. Oh, no, this is not the one I was thinking of. So let's go back as far as we can. Oh, not that far. Okay, get into the floor. Now, oh, I made that disappear. So maybe not. Okay, we'll just do it in three cam. This is just a smaller hallway. This is so cute. A little rabbit. This is probably a master primary bedroom. That that one, yes. Now we can do it here. Let's free cam in here because I definitely want to get all of that. Okay. Sometimes free cam isn't generous in the hallways. Yeah, this is absolutely incredible. This planter, I love using that planter. And with that orange, uh, it's like tangerine. And of course the ombre wallpaper. And then the cool blue elements. I love the blue of the bedding. I love the blue. It goes with the rug. I mean, that's what you have to do. I think with colors, it's about popping it like three times. Sorry, that's what happens when you're in that cam. 
Um, and sometimes it could be a metal. Like you can use gray and then use silver as your gray, you know? Sorry to me preaching my design or how good they did design. <laughs> and that's what it's all about. They're incredible builds. Okay, now this is a wee bathroom. So let's, uh, we definitely need this camera for this. Just to really see what's going on. Look at that view. So gorgeous. Again, a lot of people use a shower because it's just really like clean, simple with a white tile and it can match like whatever. I love the teal tiles. Let me get around slowly back. Oh, there we go. Add the Sims 3 it. All right. <laughs> Let's look at this area. Yeah, the bathrooms can be tricky, but they're worth it if you finally get a nice good little angle going. I love it. You know, and everything else is really neutral. It's all about that fun wallpaper and that beautiful teal flooring or turquoise. I think turquoise is, is a teal, but I consider it to be. I love this art too. It's one of my favorite face game arts. I wish I had more like art like that. Like kind of just really cool, like modern art. It's almost like a Kandinsky or something. <clears throat> I'd love to like make art for Sims games. <laughs> I think a lot of people look at other swatches of paintings in the base game because some of them are totally different than the thumbnail. I know, I do. <clears throat> I do try. I started out with a lot of the packs because I was like, well, I don't want, I want everything. I was one of those people. Oh, let's go in the kids' room. I did not go in there in the. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's all about looking at the swatches. And I know it's so, it sometimes takes patience, you know, but it's totally worth it in the end. Yeah, this room is so adorable. I can't hardly, I'm, I want to slap it. It's so cute. <laughs> and I love that corner shelf with the uni doll. Okay, I'll have to get out of there. Sometimes if you go into free cam and it's an area you're not looking at, it will just like make that disappear so the free cam works. But, you know, no, there's not like most perfect cams in The Sims, but I'm trying to. Learn them for good architectural shots. This is so cute. I love the little robot on that shelf. Um, yeah, everything about this. And of course, the Warhol animals are so cute. So we're gonna have to go back in to go to upstairs. Cause I'm not gonna try and go upstairs in The Sims cause you just really can't. <laughs> okay, so here is that little playroom area it's not that little it's a really nice playroom oh my gosh i love this playroom so much and i haven't used the modern house yet what i like about these doll houses is the fact that you can you can size them down because they are really big if you're doing a smaller bedroom and i've seen that they still work like the student the kids can still use them and that's really nice like um i struggled I, when i would size up or, uh the fans uh, or the vents the, uh, in the kitchens, they would not. Um, they would not allow the uh, Sims to cook. I had a I had a kitchen that wasn't working. It was driving me crazy, and that was the reason. I guess they were too low for their heads. So um, yeah, this is just really incredible. Oh, it knocked me out of the free cam again. Let's look at. Oh, and I want to look at this. This is my favorite. I just love this room so much. And then you have this like perfect. Let's go closer, get back in the sand. Yeah, this perfect like office area. Oh my gosh, I love that. And I love that with that wallpaper. I just see like, she's like a little, you know, work at home mom, making sure her kids behave, but being here to help them play. And it's so sweet. I mean, everything about this is like family home. And, you know, it's one of those things where you're like kind of including the children in your design. But, um, you know, you're not designing the house for what your small children say to do. <laughs> you're making it functional for an adult and, and adults, but um, there, it's just playful. It's playful. I love it so much. All right. Hey. Met with us. Always put decorations in last, like paintings and rugs, and just go through everything. Each swatch thinking about where it could fit in. It takes time, but so much fun. Oh, it's the one thing you enjoy the most. Yeah, I, I, I do enjoy uh, playing with the swatches. Um, and I try to, 
it's just always sometimes you get to those go-tos, but yeah, I love seeing uh, versions of the swatches done in different ways. It's so much fun. Well, and um, so this was the New Crest Rebuild on the Gallery ID and Dancer on Delhi TTV uh, created this. Um, and that's Mariah here in the chat. And uh, all of the gallery information for each of these builds is down below by neighborhood, original lot name. So it should be really easy to download these and make your own, uh, you know, new, new crest. <laughs> Hi, Candy. Welcome in. <laughs> oh, the clown. <laughs> You know, I like creepy clowns myself. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah, I haven't used that yet in a build, the creepy clown picture. <laughs> And uh, so the next one, let me go over to the presentation. Okay, so the next uh, lot we have in the fancy upscale Lama Lagoon neighborhood. <laughs> Once you release a tragic clown, you can't get rid of him. He won't even die. You can release him? Is that some Sims lore or did you just make that up, JB? <laughs> <clears throat> So this next one uh, is Avarice Acres. And uh, this is the, sorry, these these second two neighborhoods, I just have to tell you. And also the, the gallery information is in the um, description, the video description. And it's all base game. Um, some of them do use that celebration pack that came free with the base game. So that was permitted. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> what you could release the crazy okay <laughs> i almost when we get back in the game well let's just do that right now so then because it's timely um well i'm in build mode. okay so let's get into build mode we're going to be doing avarice acres next i'm not going to put anything in the build i'm just going to show the gallery um, because we're talking about this clown picture, so I want to show people what this clown picture is. <laughs> and believe me, I won't put it in your build. <laughs> we're about to do Cat Deity's build, so, um, let's just do by room. That's the easiest way to find art. Of course, it's one room that doesn't have the art in it. Okay. Oh, I'm going to put base game. I, I don't have my base game thing done anymore because I, I don't mess with this now. I just downloaded it. Um... Oh, no, packs. Okay, base game. This will make it easier to find that clown art, although he's unmistakable. I'm sure, I mean, all you players probably know, but yeah, tragic clown. Uh, where is he? So this this is him here. Yeah, I did not know uh, <laughs> that it was all, all gameplay that you could do. <laughs> All right, so let me get that back up. Sorry, the, the clown just. <laughs> so this next build in the Llama Lagoon neighborhood is uh, by Cat Deity. That's the ID, the gallery ID. Um, and the name of this lot is Avarice Acres. And that's also what Cat uh, uh, named the game. It's a home for a big, successful family with kids of any age. So this is a great uh, family home. It's got five bedrooms and three bathrooms on a 40 by 30 lot. So there's a lot of gameplay here. And, um, oops, let me go back. Okay. And then here's a gorgeous picture of the build in game next to the new crest rebuild. I mean, it looks like they could be right in the same neighborhood. Everything looks so good together. Even if it's a different style, I think it's it's turned out wonderfully. Okay. Now open another water. 
yeah, I'm going to release that clown. <clears throat> I am going to release that clown. And if you're watching the video, if you're enjoying our content here, I mean, we're doing a, you know, showcase tour. Uh, please hit that like button. It's really appreciated. And this was an unofficial Sam and Bean uh, Discord uh, community challenge. So I've also linked uh, Sam and Bean's uh, YouTube in the description. And uh, Sam and Bean's an incredible content creator. They do all sorts of different types of architectural style builds, explain the architectural style elements. Also, uh, you know, tons of roofing and build tutorials. Amazing creator. I'm so proud to be part of this Discord. I'm so honored to be able to kind of host uh, the tour. Uh, Sam's been very busy. Has a lot, a lot on her plate. So um, I thought it'd be fun. I was part of this challenge um, to just uh, do a nice uh, stream for the community and uh, let everybody enjoy all the crazy hard work that went into this base game, whole world base game, and most beautiful builds. Really beautiful. So we're looking at the uh, Avarice Acres, a cat deity. Let's go in here. Look at this beautiful, I love this driveway. And the garage. Oh my gosh. So you did that all as separate little pieces. Oh my gosh. I did, That is incredible. That is incredible. <laughs> yes, met with us. It's, it's, it's so fun to see how differently we can build with the same guidelines. It's so inspiring. Yes, I believe, I, I think that is so incredible. Um, and you know, a lot of the same stuff. Cause you know, it, it, especially interior stuff, the base game doesn't have a lot and I've seen stuff, same stuff used, but it's used so differently. A lot. Oh my gosh. I love this raised deck with the raised pool. That is fantastic. And I love the use of the trellis. Uh, around uh, this part of the foundation. She's so charming. I mean, that's totally something. It's very kind of New England feeling. This house kind of has a like New England suburban feeling to me. But, you know, it could be kind of suburban, a really beautiful suburban home in, in lots of areas. And it's one of those two that's, you know, it's, it's a modern home, but I'd consider it transitional, you know, because it's got like kind of the traditional front door. Um, and, and it's, I believe, I've seen the side of this a few times, you know, and the elements are also carried into the interior. Let's look at the floor plan. Okay. <laughs> Let's go down the bottom first so we have like, oh, let me turn off the grid. If I forget to turn off the grid, just say grid in the comments. <laughs> it's just not as fun looking at it. So yeah, this, this yard, everything's so cute. Let's go. So you go in the front door. Let's look at just the overview here. I love all the shoes, the coat racks. It's a great little kind of mudroom area for the front entry. And then we have a bedroom off of here. So it's like an adult's room or maybe a, 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 you know, late teen. And this floor plan is just gorgeous. Like I love, I love, oh, I was getting down into it. We'll do that later. But I love this wall. This is so creative. You know, this is exactly what you would see in like a build like this. Um, and four person seating, the island, the L shaped island is so, so cool with the dishwasher in there. Some great kitchen designs. Like I said, I design like kitchens and bathrooms in real life. I've just been really impressed. <laughs> I think you'll do such beautiful work. And then the dining, this is a nice big dining area. This is lovely. This is so lovely. And I just love this little half. It's just those little details, you know? Little half moon rug. And again, like we saw these in the other build in just such a different way. You know, I love the traditional and the industrial elements together. And then did the more like traditional console table behind the couch. I love console tables behind couches so much. And then a full bar over here with the fantastic bar back. <clears throat> Ooh, the high class coffee pot. <laughs> oh, Mariah, this house reminds you of someone, uh, some near you that you love. Oh, that's cool. 
You know, and that's what's fascinating too. Like I said earlier, I mean, we're from all over the place. Like everybody I talk to in my other game and this building game, you know, are from like all parts of the world. And so there's different there's different ways of building and, and you know how architecture is perceived and and done. So it's really um, really cool to see builds from such a diverse group of people. It really opens our eyes to like how things are decorated. And then you come back here. Let me. Oh, we're not in. Oh, I'm not in free cam. I'm doing floor plan. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> I gotta remember my place where I'm at. Okay, and this bathroom, I love this tile so much. I saw this in quite a few builds. It is one of the better, I think, like cool pattern tiles in the base game. I used it in both my contemporary and in my Mediterranean house in the kitchens. Well, the contemporary had a white wall. Like this is the more like kind of beige color which looks great with this floor too. It's amazing. I love that little bathroom. You got your trainer potty. So it's a really good family home. Oh, this little like back entrance vestibule is so cute with this little setup here. I love that. And then you have like your games garage. I love that the garage, they did a garage, but not for cars. They did it still as a conversion. It's so cute. Like, we didn't do the full conversion and add doors, but you know, I mean, like usually I call it like man cave, but it can be a, you know, a gal cave, <laughs> a girl cave, man cave, cave, cave. But um, it, it's really cool. I mean, you got the workout equipment, the games, the card games, you know, um, this isn't that like a cloner? Are you gonna just like clone people? Or is that a dance thing? <laughs> it looks kind of serious. But it looks fun. And then the work table and the t and the flat screen TV. That's just, it's really, that's really creative and clever. Let's go up to second floor. Uh, <laughs> oh, did they do the light switches here too? I know, I need to start, I need to, yeah, there they are. I need to start doing that. I need to start doing, I like to be super realistic, but I think like, by the time I've added all the stuff, and I usually build kind of big stuff that I forget. Let's make sure we didn't forget. Oh, where? Yeah, well, there's quite a few up here. Where? Oh, I remember going through here. <laughs> the walkthrough of this house is a bit uh, difficult because the way this vestibule is, I love it, and it's uh, it's very grand. But when I was inside it, I kept getting lost and going back into the same rooms. So I'm gonna try and memorize this from now on. You come up the stairs. And then there's this on the right. Okay, I think I've got this. So there's another little uh, office here with a chess table. I love it. And then this dressing room is so cool. I love it so much having a little dressing vestibule with a little makeup area. I love the whole like like built-in closets here made out of the armoires these armoires are great for that i love it <laughs> and then sorry i was reading the comments <laughs> this bathroom is fantastic and i love the little half wall i need to do more of these little half walls like i do a lot of high-end like new builds and remodels and stuff so a lot of times i'll do the whole full bathroom closet thing i walk and it's a little difficult when you're playing to get the toilet clicked sometimes so this half wall is a nice way because sometimes i'm like well when they want some privacy and i love in the in the ensuite of the primary bath the primary bedroom and dressing area the big jacuzzi tub a shower two sinks like this is totally like a master bathroom so nice. And the colors are gorgeous again. So this is the white version and they use the beige version of this uh, tile in the other bathroom. And then these are artsy. These are very artsy people. They have the painting area also in their bedroom. I love this set. This, this uh, I think it's like the mission kind of set. So cute. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true, JB. Um, Half walls are great for putting stuff on as well. It's like another place you can accessorize. Yeah, I do I do think this little, this is a brilliant closet idea. 
Because it really, it really feels real. And that's the problem like Sims. And you know, sometimes I make closets for everything and then sometimes I don't. Um, I'm trying to incorporate it back again. This is a nursery. Is this a, oh yeah, this is like for like toddlers and infants. Or is this all? Yeah, I think infants. I still get confused. There's like there's like the little the little bassinet they get when you're first born. Usually, I give you that one. If, and then um, I think there's two two ages of kids here. Now, you guys, you know I've been only been playing for like six months, so I try to I play a lot. And I build a lot, so, um, but I'm trying to, the kid toddler stuff sometimes confuses me. <laughs> but this is gorgeous. Again, this confetti wallpaper used brilliantly once again. It's really a good one. And when you're forced to use base game, it becomes very good. <laughs> oh, and look at this little, I love, I love all the little vestibules. Like with all the baby stuff, like a baby changing little nook. I love nooks, especially purposeful nooks like that. And then he's like the older kids. I love the desks under the bunk beds. That is adorable. I have not done that yet. I see these ones that you can do that with, and I, I should use them more. But anyway, <laughs> just all this brilliance. Again, the science and art. This layout is really nice. And oh, it's just the little backpacks are sweet. And I love the little side tables for the desk that they can put things on. I mean, this is a great kids' room because it could be boy, it could be girls, it can be anybody, you know, anybody. Like I said, it's a very unisex room. I love it. And the purples. Purple is a great color for kids' rooms. It's just rich and fun. And then you can pass the room to somebody else <laughs> and it won't be too specific. <laughs> And then we have the um, the other bedroom, which is so cute. Such a serene palette. And again, this beautiful, uh, is it desert? Imaginary sunsets. <laughs> oh, so it's newborn, infant, toddler. And then, But once they're children... And teens, they can sleep in any bed. But the newborns, the infants, and the toddlers all have their own beds, I think. <laughs> yeah, JB's been playing this game for a long, long, long time. So, um, knows the ins and outs of everything. Probably knows, especially ba base game. This is fantastic. All right. And then there's, uh, yeah, this one doesn't have the secret upstairs room. So let's go down. Oh, let's do a little free camming. All right. I definitely want a free cam. This one looks so nice. Okay. I think it may be when there's like lots of vegetation, it goes. There we go. I got to go a little faster. In. Okay. We'll go down a little bit. Trying to get the right eye height. And let's pull back. A little here's the entry vestibule I love it so cozy the shoes at the front door Let's see the kids are probably playing in the backyard and here's like a office bedroom for a guest room situation really nice maybe a mother-in-law suite and then I love that mirror and great little sorry I was like looking over <laughs> artwork here. It's really nice. Yeah, this kitchen is really beautiful. I really love it. I still haven't used that knife and fork. A lot of people use these Rhine racks because they look great. Let me go down a little bit. And this is a perfect ceiling height. I think this is like the lower ceiling height for those pots and pans. And then the dining area. It's very beautiful, kind of mid-century modern style. A little buffet. I love these doors. And then I love how they did the TV over here with the fireplace. The transitional elements are so nice in here. 
makes it a little bit of industrial. I love the kind of Moroccan style table. Like it's very eclectic. It feels very real, you know. And then a full stock bar. So this is a party pad too. All right. And then it goes to the little side vestibule. We'll look at the outside again at the end. And then here's the fun little family hangout garage. Like someone's a man cave, lady cave. But it's really cute. Let me go back a little. That was so nice maybe and this flooring is so fantastic i should use that in my gym <laughs> and the jukebox it's getting a little foreshortened there all right so now let's uh i think about all the downstairs right we got we got the office we didn't get the bathroom but the bathrooms are a little harder, but let's try. I like getting everything in here. It's just so pretty. This is great. I love it. I love this tile. I loved it so much I used it twice, too. Twice is nice. Beautiful. And we don't have a lot of tile options, but there's quite a few. I mean, they didn't really add that many tile options beyond base game, really. And then we'll go up. I don't want to miss anything. Okay, now this one... <laughs> I love this vestibule, but I have to like try and be methodical about it and remember where I'm at. Okay, so let's see if we can do a free cam in here. Okay, so we're gonna go here. So we're coming up the stairs and then to the right of the stairs, very right, we have this room. And this is the little, I think, uh, yeah, a little office area with the chess. Very nice. Very nice. So cute. Let's look at this desk. Oh, I love this desk area. I love the clutter on top. It's so perfect. It's so cute. And then you have this little area over here. With the fishbowl and the little globe. Okay, and then to this right, when you come up the stairs, is the big primary bedroom, I believe. Yeah, I, I love this mission furniture. It looks great. And this color palette is so nice. And the browns and the blues and the creams. Really nice and relaxing. I love the paint area. I'm glad they put so much paint stuff in the Vegas base game. Oh yeah, the garage is so cool. Oh, the ch which chair? I'll have to come back to that. Sometimes I don't look at the chat enough, so I'm sorry. I apologize. All right. Um, I love this little dressing area closet with the like looks like built-in wardrobe. That's not. Ha ha ha. We know. And the little robes. It's great to have them out here, you know, then you're not taking up precious bathroom space. But uh, yeah, this bathroom is really incredible. I love this bathroom. It's just got so much function. You got so much counter space, two sinks. You have this little shower in the corner. Again, I think this is like, I've seen the shower in almost every build. It's such a good one. <laughs> I'll have to look and see what the name of that one is because it's, it's just really versatile. And then the big corner jacuzzi tub and then the wonderful half wall. And the towel storage. Yeah, this is really nice. And then yeah, this is a true like nice, fabulous primary bedroom, but like total family home, family suburban home. I love it. Okay, so now we go down the hall. I'm going to do this methodically so I don't mess up like I did when I was going through before. So we go to the right, first room on the right. Okay, here we go. Is the kids like the nursery with the toddler and the infant bed? <laughs> oh, in the office, the, the leather one. Oh, I'll have to go look at that when we go back, uh, plan down. This is so cute. Great use of the confetti. All these different rugs work so well together. I love the blues and the greens and the yellows. 
And I love this little um, baby, baby care station, diaper changing baby care. <laughs> okay, so then we came to the right, so then we'll go to the right again. So we'll just keep going right once we exit the rooms properly. And then here's the kids' rooms. I mean, these could be, this is such a, a great uh, room design. Like, it could be seven-year-olds. It could be, I mean, some of these are for smaller, smaller kids. But the actual design, I mean, you could be like, you know, a, a teen. And this would still totally work. You just probably change out these little things. You know, you probably use the science table, but maybe this little art table would change out. And then I love just like these little storage cubbies over here. It's like the cubby cubby. <laughs> All right, let me let me be careful not to get too Blair Witch on you. Okay, and then we go right again. Oh. And here's the other bedroom with study as well and kind of a nice hangout area. This is a beautiful palette. I love it with that art and those drapes are really nice. These drapes were such a, a great thing for base game. <laughs> yeah, they have all sorts of built-in closets and little vestibules and niches. I mean, these are like, a lot of times called niches, at least in the U.S. <clears throat> and then again, the sunset wallpaper. It's so beautiful. I've used this swatch. And it was a very kind of adult build, but it was kind of like, kind of whimsical, shabby chic build. I don't know if that's still a thing. It, it, probably a more modern version of that. Less shabby and more chic, you know. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And I love the little speaker. Like the lights up with all the colors that really goes well. Hey, I think I'm doing it right. I think. So we went up the stairs, went to that room. I'm getting all the rooms. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is just gorgeous. Let me doing the thing again so i'm gonna have to get back in this camera so i go back down okay sometimes it likes to like do that okay well, let's go back all right now we can enjoy oh i want to there we go i love this so much i love the lilac walls you know, like gray walls this this pattern of tile is so pretty this works so well yeah, I was trying to do that thing again. I might just have to look at it this way because it's just being a you know what. And I love how the yellow tile, I love the yellow and the lavender gray. And I love how you brought out the little bits of those like buttery yellow in the tiles in here and also in this like uh, cabinet and this little mirror. So nice. Yeah, this is like a perfect family home. And look how efficient the floor plan is. I mean, there's so much space, but it's utilized in such a brilliant way. And um, yeah, I actually, I think I, I think my methodology was right. <laughs> I got through all the rooms without totally getting lost. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is brilliant. And then let's look at the outside. So yeah, this one is, let's see, that's not Tranquil Crescent, Avarice Acres. By Cat Deity. <laughs> oh yeah, the clothes on the floor. Oh, you went about the, the, the chair in the um, office. I'm not sure. Oh, this one? Yeah, I don't know. I won't be able to tell that, but <laughs> I don't want to mess with it till I'm actually playing with it. That wouldn't feel so bad if I actually mess with some. All right. <clears throat> So we've gotten through probably half. <clears throat> so we'll probably take um, 
take our break after um, the next one. And Jerhub, do you have the, the overlay ready for the break thing? <laughs> <laughs> the ones with the 2000 HOA fees. Oh my God. Yeah. My bills usually have very expensive bills, like 20,000 a month or something. I don't know if those include HOA or not. <laughs> In real life, definitely. So yeah, this neighborhood looks great. We're going to be doing the, uh, before the break. Ah, okay. Okay. We're gonna have a little a little hold page here for um we'll do our little 30 minute lunch break after we do the um Cluedo Museum Library. Um so um once we finish that, we'll calculate. I know I said we're stopping at 12, but it's hard to get like a hard stop in the middle. Um so let's or we could do that after the break. Let's see what we've got done. One, two, so we've gotten seven done and we have, okay, then we have seven to go. So, um, I don't know, uh, Mariah, if you're not able to come back after the break, we can do your, uh, Cluedo Museum Library now, or we could do it after the break. Kind of, you know, even up the submissions. Because I want you to be able to be there. <laughs> the break could be uh, for 30 minutes. So it's like 12.57 now. So if I just come back at 1.30. And then I'm supposed to get some sort of little... Hold screen from Jerha. <laughs> and if you haven't liked this stream, how do you do it? Are you going to do it? Yeah. Okay. So uh, Jerob's going to put on the hold screen, and then uh, we will be back in 30. Hey everybody, welcome back. Hey Sam and Bean, thanks for popping in to say hi to us. I know you got a busy day. <laughs> welcome back everyone. Well Sam gave me the idea of taking a break of uh, these long ones. I've done like four hour streams, but honestly I start turning into a pumpkin sometimes. So it's nice to have a little lunch break so I can come back fresh because we got... Um, let me go down here. I want to look at my um, lots. Okay, so we're coming back and we're in the Llama Lagoon neighborhood. We just saw the Newcrest Rebuild by a Dancer on Delhi, the Avarice Acres by Cat Deity. And now we have a um, another uh, wonderful um Build by Dancer on Delhi as well. She, uh, Dancer on Delhi to two lots. Uh, Mariah here in the chat. So um, this is very exciting. Uh, this is um, Tranquil Quest Crescent. Crescent. <laughs> the gallery ID is Dancer on Delhi TTV. And the, all the gallery IDs are down in the description. So you have all the spellings and everything. And it's the uh, Cluedo Museum Library. And this is based on um, Clue or Cluedo uh, board game. And um, so I put the uh, board here so you can kind of see the inspiration 
really, really brilliant, uh, really brilliant inspiration. Um, and they followed it uh, very well um, in the way that you can in Sims. <laughs> so here is the um, picture of the floor plan in the actual build. So that's pretty cool. That's really, really cool. I mean, this is this is an amazing job. I'm really excited about this one. And then here's our picture of the exterior in the world. It looks gorgeous. Totally fits in with this neighborhood. It's brilliant. And then um, we're going to go in game. And we're already in here in build mode. So um, let's take the grid off. All right. It's great for building. So um, this is fantastic building. I love it. Just like a one story. The roofing is really cool. It's a perfect shape for a, a board, <laughs> a game board inspired design. I really love it. I love the um, signage, the, the little stools all around. The landscaping is really pretty. And I love the choice of materials. I love this rook. And, and doing like the gray mixed with the cream. Um, it really adds a lot to it. All right, let's look at the floor plan. That's very important in this build. <laughs> Floor plan based on a board game. <laughs> oh, uh, Mariah, you want to redecorate again with some extra packs? I know. I, I'm, I, my two builds, I started thinking, oh, I could come back in with the extra stuff. But, you know, I mean, it's your build. <laughs> I would love to see 2.0 with extra packs. But, I mean, this is incredible. Let's just go through the floor plan. Go to the entry hall with these columns and statues. I absolutely love it. I love the Spaceman statue. Okay. <laughs> Had my tech man come out here. I was like, oh my gosh, is my mic turned off? Of course, this was added. They do have a downstairs thing in the Cluedo, but then they added uh, restrooms down here and a little library, which I love this little sunken area. That is so cool. I want to do more like basement sunken areas like that. And I believe Dancer on a Deli on a YouTube. You're also on a Twitch as well. They have a channel where they do builds. And then um, here is the library. No, is that the library? This office. This is the library. I think this is just like a lounge, a receiving room. I love the yellow and the red. It's so gorgeous. And I love the, the green fireplace here, the art wall. So beautifully done. It feels like Clue. It really feels like Clue. And this parquetry flooring. <laughs> Just on Twitch, no YouTube. Hashtag mom and life. <laughs> I <know. laughs> yeah, I, don't, I only do YouTube. I don't do Twitch. Um, just, yeah. Just getting used to live streaming the last since, uh, I don't know, the January, I think. I started live streaming. Uh, this dining room is absolutely gorgeous. And I love using, like, you know, each tile of the uh, marble floor to do a giant checkered pattern. Especially in these big builds, because a smaller checkered pattern is, like, diagonal in base game. And it's also um, just, just a smaller pattern, like, for bathrooms and things. So, for, I think, for large rooms. And I love this marble. The swatch of it looks strange. I don't know why it looks like clouds or something. <laughs> And then they do the same fireplace in here as in there. I mean, there's not a lot of base game fireplaces. I love the hallway leading back. So this is this is a great library museum. And then the kitchen area, public events. This is very cute. And in this one is that the other base game with the smaller pattern, which is perfect for this room. And the kitchen layout is absolutely fantastic. Microwave, important for any public space kitchen. Oh, and there's a ladder down here. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, yes, a secret. Okay. We'll have to. We'll go through that in a minute. I forgot. We'll do the first floor and then we'll go down to the bottom because there's the bathrooms, but there's also like a little secret hallway, which I love. This music room is fantastic. All of the art is like jazz or music or instruments. So clever. So pretty. I love this yellow like stucco. It's really gorgeous. And then you have like a conservatory room. Lots of seating, a jukebox. I got incredible views from every room. There's lots of windows. And then I love the art room. I get classes here. And the green and the red. I love green and red. I love yellow and red, you know. And it's not, it's, it's a very classical palette, you know, a very historical palette. A lot of people think of green and red as Christmas, but, you know, I think, I think they're just stunning together. And, and if you use them, if, you know, if it doesn't look like a Christmassy build, it's a very tried and true palette and looks stunning together. It's a very historical. And here's a library. There's a couple of libraries. And then this like work center, office, your computer stations, kind of updating that clue. <laughs> yeah, this is this is stunning. And I love these window treatments on these little windows. So we'll go down to the basement floor plan. Wait a minute, did I just Okay, I love this. Love this. So here you go downstairs and we have more checkered marble floor, which is always classic, especially in like a public space like this. We have the designated bathrooms. And then um, over here, there's this is the bathroom for the secret corridor. So those that doesn't meet up with that. So you have a secret corridor that goes uh, from this room. Is that right? Or I believe in the corner. Hmm, let me see. Here's our ladder. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. I almost didn't see it. <laughs> this, this room was so well laid out, I didn't even notice the ladder in the corner in this one. So yeah, you can go from this kind of uh, lounge, re parlor, receiving room, and then I believe it takes you all the way over to the conservatory, little plant greenhouse room. Really cool, really cool. I love that, I love that so much. I love secret tunnels though, so. and I love the staircase. I tried to do the staircase in my build, but the, the railings, the railings don't want to behave if you do railings with it. And that kind of was necessary, but this is perfect. All right. Let's do a little walkthrough, shall we? Let's get our cameras set up here. Free cam it. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Oh, uh, JB is a new clue game. Every room is a different holiday. That would be fun. <laughs> no, Mariah, it did not turn out Christmassy. I used red and greens a ton. I used it in um, my one build. I had this French build I haven't shown because it's CC and all my CC got knocked around. So um, I finally got my build better by and then it got disabled with this new update. Um... Okay, let's go down. We're pretty close to the front door. I don't, we're not even at the front door. It's the side door. Okay, I'm going to go back into free cam. Sorry. This is, this is a big place. Okay, here we are. Since it's like mirrors itself on all sides, it takes a second. Okay, now back in free cam. Okay, got to get to the right height. It's always really important. Oh, this might take... So well, this is nice to see the landscaping. I love the bird bath and the topiaries. 
I love topiaries. And then, voila, very grand. And I love these uh, little cornices at the top. Those are really cool. Just this whole, let me get back a little bit. There we go. Just enough and not too much distortion. All the different sculptures, very much like coming into like a public library museum. And then here is like the central vestibule looking down onto the little library downstairs and the bathrooms. And then coming over here, this is such a great little hallway and like lounge area. And I love how you did that little niche, the recess niche for the sculpture. That just makes it really look like purposeful. And this room is gorgeous. This is just stunning. I love these canary yellows. Um, the drapes work so well with these windows. And the red, it's just such a rich palette. I mean, it just feels like Clue. Like I want to play the board game right now. <laughs> You know, it's kind of a very, you know, whodunit feeling in this interior design. And just really great wall with the fireplace. I love this green swatch on this fireplace. It's so gorgeous. <laughs> oh, JV, when you play tested this, by the time you got the family there, the place, it was full of people because it's public. <laughs> Oh, yeah, those are llamas at the entrance. Erica, thank you for pointing that out. And the neighborhood is Llama Lagoon. All right, sorry, I mean to move. I get excited, I move my camera around. I'm like, I don't want to cause anyone to get ill. Okay, and then I love this glass door going in here. Oh, gosh, this looks great. Oh, this dining room is so spectacular. Oh, I just love all the accessories, how the mantle's done. I mean, this is Scream's Murder Mystery Party. <laughs> These are great base game uh, chairs and tables for the more traditional uh, builds. Really great. And then the blue light blue paneling. Oh, check. I mean, this is just so classic. Let's look. Let's go over here. It's such a gorgeous room. I don't want to miss any of it. Oh, we have this chandelier. I'm sure we use that buttercup chandelier like a thousand times. <laughs> oh, Mariah, you and uh, JV play online sometimes. We always use another player. Oh, cool. <clears throat> that sounds fun. I could totally be into that for sure. If you're talking about me. <laughs> The butler in the lighting room with the lamp. Oh, my God. Oh, he's a main... Oh, I got to see that. I got to go back in there for... Oh, wait a minute. Where did we go? Oh, here. Here's the dining room. There's the butler. Oh. Oh, no, this is the kitchen. Oh, I already messed that up. Okay. Let me... We were... This place is <laughs> massive. So we were in this hallway... Oh, yeah, and then we were in here. Oh, yes, the butler did it. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. And then this is just the same room. Okay, so another door to that room. So I'm just going to keep going in this direction. So we have this. I love the little typewriter in the case here. This is fantastic. And then this is the kitchen, probably the events kitchen. I love the island. And we'll put that seating all the way around it. Like, I'm sure they have classes in here. And the palette is just gorgeous. I love this, just like jade green. I did a kitchen like that in real life in this color. It's so good. Oh, yes, you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really enjoyed uh, being on Sound and Beans Discord. I really felt honored to be able to take everyone through this tour today. Uh, of Sam and Bean's uh, unofficial uh, challenge, the new year, new crest build. And it just turned out fabulous. I mean, I just, I really enjoy 
getting to know all these people and seeing their work. It's just it's just one of the best Sims uh, discords. And Sam uh, I linked uh, Sam and Beans channel, YouTube channel in the um, video description. So please uh, follow Sam and Bean. Uh, they're amazing, amazing content creator and um, great tutorials, riffing, architecture, architectural styles, very knowledgeable. So, you know, this, this bunch in this group, they're all very, very, very excellent builders. And I've been enjoying this thoroughly. I can't wait to play with this. Okay. I want to get back in this corner a little bit and just see. Oh, yes. Around the island. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Ta chairs all around. It's going to start cutting into it. Um, let me go back in. Once you start switching cameras, it starts to get kind of complicated. So we got that. Let me just get my sense of placement. Okay, so then we're going to be heading next. We've been back this way, so we'll go to let's get back on our free cam. Or I'll be like, I don't know what's going on. And you have these open archways. Now let me, because this is a good area to go back on, because now we can get a really good view. Oh, look at this. So the music room, which I love. I love this rug. I use that in my more traditional build. <laughs> so nice. I love, I just love the music art. I think that's really, really cool. I love the little recessed uh, window, bay window area with the piano. Um, you can just hear the classical music playing. Do we have a suspect in that one? Okay, this goes to the back. Oh, Lee, let's go into here. Because then we'll look at the back areas. Oh, oh yes. Oh, this is kind of like the little uh, plant. Uh, not conservatory. Yeah, it's kind of like plant conservatory. But what else? Uh, not greenhouse. There's another word for it. <laughs> I know, Mariah. I wish they had that rug and more options because it's so beautiful. That the um, the one that was in the music room. It's incredible. Let me go back. Don't think it's too far. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're getting some nice views in this room. Yeah, this looks like a really fun garden room. I love it so much. I love the shelf with the plant and the drawings. Of course, the buttercup, John D. Buttercup uh, sconces. I use those sconces everywhere if it's traditional. <laughs> yeah, this is just gorgeous. I love the blues, the greens, the taupes, and the black and blue. It's so nice. Look at the view. Look at that view. It's gorgeous. All right. So now is this oh. This is a oh no, this is the painting room. This is different. This is a painting studio. This is the one with the red and green palette. No, it does not look Christmassy at all. It's gorgeous. And I love that divider. <clears throat> like I said, red and green is a, my, one of my favorite co color combos. Besides orange and blue. Now, honestly, it really is orange and blue, but. <laughs> oh, are we going back? Oh, then we got a hallway. Look at us. We're traveling now. And now we have a library. Oh, this is fantastic. Great job. Great job with the built-in library. You know, that's before Book Nook. I mean, this looks incredible. And I love that centerpiece uh, just to divide it off. And it looks perfectly seamless there. I mean, you've all just amazed me. <laughs> I really enjoy going through these builds. This is really, so to say, fantastic. <laughs> All right, so I think we went through the hallway here, so then we can go back out here. Permitting our perspective doesn't get too skewed. Oh, and then we have just like a little, oh, I love this bust. They need more busts like that. Okay, and then there's like the, another library, but more like a computer station room, which is very important this day and age. This looks great. Oh, yeah, I love that book in the frame. I like seeing things. I'm like, I should use that. And this is another one of the secret rooms. Huh. Is there another? 
Oh, yeah, second. Second secret room. Oh, wow. So there's four different places it goes up. So you have two secret hallways. That's incredible. All right. So I think we covered all of that. This is stunning. I love the two chandeliers. You know, I love like multiple chandeliers and a big vestibule. I love, you know, especially in a space like this, you need that grand entryway. I think it's just, it's just, and so, so exactly looks like the board in the board game. And you can make an interesting building that also looks like a board in a board game. That's brilliant. <clears throat> well, Dancer on Delhi, Mariah here on YouTube. You've knocked it out of the park. And if any of you are just coming back in the stream and you haven't liked it, please uh, consider giving a like. Really appreciate it. Um, one last view of this. Our uh, second commercial lot. The first one was the Botanical Museum. It was also uh, an inspiration. So fantastic. Great job, Mariah. <laughs> oh, it would be the billiards room, but you didn't have any good options in the base game. I know, for base game, I mean, my gosh. I could see, though, too, why, um, why you'd want to redo some of it to have the options. Do we even have... Do we have a billiards table in the game at all, even with the packs? I don't ever remember putting one in. Okay. Well, that was a brilliant job. <laughs> Everybody's done such a good job. All right. Let me go back to, let me go into Manage Worlds. So we'll pop. Oh. Mariah, it took a while, but you're really happy with it. I would be. I, I'm, I'm blown away. I, it's really great. <clears throat> oh, the foosball table. Yeah, I mean, the white pool is like the most classic. And like homes would have a pool table and also like bars before they'd have a foosball table or ping pong table. You know, you know, I mean, how many people really want ping pong tables like inside? Like, it's usually on a patio. Um... Yeah, they really, they really need to add that for sure. I don't even know why it's not in base game. It's kind of silly. Like, it could be fun. Like, people could play pool. But it would be another bug to have. <laughs> so, um, well, let me just, I'll leave it on that for right now. We'll go back to the um, PowerPoint. So, um, the next one is uh, still in Llama Lagoon. These are the two, uh, the next two are going to be the two largest lots. Um, this one is one by me, the Decorista. Um, it's a uh, twin Oracle point is the actual lot. Um, it's a 50 by 40. And um, for this one, I did a Mediterranean mansion. And... Uh, my gallery ID is uh, Decorista on uh, Sims. And this also used that holiday celebration pack that we said is okay in the um, to use it for a base game build. And all the art in here was base game art that got taken off the gallery. So a little backstory since it's my build. Um, and it's the first Mediterranean I did. I thought it with the window styles that would probably be a good style for base game. It's it's still tricky not to make it. I wanted to look more charming, like a 1920s mansion more than like a mech mansion. So this was inspiration. I only had one shot of this, so I had to make up the rest of the house. But this kind of in the back area, you'll see. And then I was dying to do the staircase, but you have to do it without railing. And for some reason, the railings in the Spanish style are very important. So I changed it up a little bit, but still did the step down into the living room. And here is the house from the back. So you have like a waterfront view and then there's like a park where people are walking. So I put up more fencing in the back here. I still wanted kind of places to see out better. And then let's get into it in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Expansion pack with no gameplay. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit buggy. 
Let, to say to <laughs> put it lightly. But anyway, this is not an EA <laughs> produced video. <laughs> I can say what I want. So yeah, this is the Mediterranean style home. This is where it is in the world. It's a 5540. I made a five bedroom, seven bathroom home. I designed big homes, uh, new builds and stuff like this size in life sometimes. So generally there's a lot of bathrooms. So I, I will always have probably a lot of bathrooms if I can fit them. And the Sims, for some reason, pee themselves, even though they have like 10 bathrooms. Don't get it. But <laughs> so is the Sims. They're not the brightest, even though they went to university. <laughs> I guess if you don't have the university, they're really dumb Sims. <laughs> <laughs> JB, I need those bathrooms to wash your dishes. <laughs> I know, I'm wondering, I've been setting the sink type and I'm just wondering if like that's actually working or not. Let me turn off the grid. Did I turn off the grid on the last one? I hope so, because it's so pretty. I think I did. All right, so um, this is a big monster. Like I said, I had to, I used a few different inspirations just for the front, just on you know the Mediterranean style homes I was looking at. Um, this back area, just like this back part, was the one from the inspiration photo. Something happened in my round room where it suddenly there's these jagged edges on the walls. But after this was all built, I don't know. That may be a, like a Sam a Sam thing to give to her some time to fix it. <laughs> But I think I actually made the roof a little bigger and just fixed that problem in mine, but I don't think it made it to this save file. And I'm doing the save file today. Um, so I tried again in this one as well as the other one to really uh, mimic the, you know, flora and fauna of this world. Um, and I feel like it does. I mean, a lot of the stuff I use is used all in the, you know, exterior EA builds or, you know, gardens. And, you know, with a big house like this, there's eight people. It's an eight person house. So you have a lot of room for everybody. Lots of outdoor spaces. And also it's a family house. We don't have a lot of things to play with. I mean, I put these monkey bars. I could have put, you know, <laughs> more to play with, but um and you also do have a big garage i thought always like big circular driveways or semi-circular um and then let's go look at the floor plan <laughs> doing dishes in the bathroom i know first time i saw that it was so frustrating and they even went way across the house so um i made this uh entry vestibule so this was the area I was talking about. I was trying to mimic with, let me get in a free cam to say this. Let's, oh gosh, let's go. I'm not in free cam. Okay, thank you. Sorry about that. Um, and we're not, we can see through the roof because I don't have the second floor toned on. But at least you can get the idea of this, you know, the step down with the arches. And then I did the stairs on each side instead of the stairs behind and made that bigger. But when we do the walkthrough, I'll put on all of the floors. It's a little tricky. It's pretty tall. Um, and I did have to use the tall height here because of the big, you know, step down into the living room. But, you know, it's a grand mansion. So I didn't think that was the worst thing because a lot of these these places have very high ceiling heights. Um, so let's just go floor plan. So you walk through and this is more of the like uh, kind of more formal living room area. You know, doing a lot of kind of a red and white uh, color palette in this main area mixed in with the beige tones and some of the, you know, and golds and also kind of these umber uh, tones. <laughs> yeah, I made, I made this whole, um, I made this uh, entry a platform and I also made, since these are connected, uh, the office and the bathroom, I think, are platforms. Or no, this isn't a platform. This is even with this ground. So just the office had to be a platform because it was the only other room connected to that. And then just, uh, and then that created, the sunken living room is actually more on the ground floor with a little bit of a foundation. 
Um, I wanted to mimic what the other backyard did, which is these two steps down the back. It's, it's a bit tricky, but, you know, and like I said, I'm very new, new to building. So I'm just learning platforms and all of that. Um, you know, just kind of like the red, um, red and blue, kind of Medici, you know, it's like Italian. I wanted to get like a Medici palette here. And I tried in these little areas, I tried doing the, the night statues, but it just started looking like a museum or you know, I don't know. It was a, it was a bit uh, foreboding, so I ended up putting the night in the dining room. And then uh, we have a breakfast room here. And just kind of doing like the mixing the terracottas, trying to do like uh, tile rugs around regular rugs, just especially in these expansive spaces to give like, you know, a real layered feeling. And we don't have a lot of rugs to work with, so, oh, this, what the heck? I lost some of my squares. Anyway, <clears throat> this is supposed to be all checkered. I'll have to fix that at some point. Um, and yeah, because I was trying to find rugs, you can see all these rugs at the same time, so it has to be kind of cohesive. And that's hard in base game, because there's not that many rugs. So, um, and just a lot of arches, Mediterranean architecture has a lot of arches. And so we have this big kitchen. This is a, you know, this is a family home for eight people, basically like in-laws, uh, parents, uh, or a guest room instead of in-laws and, uh, like, uh, teenage boys room, teenage girls room, and then the, the primary suite. So... You know, I did two fridges, two stoves. Not like they really use them that way and the two dishwashers, but I wanted it to be like a home this size would would definitely have that. And then I was going to do a laundry room back here. <laughs> and forgot that there's no like like washers and dryers, I don't think, in base game. So um, did the um, workout center here, little uh, gym. And uh, this is the hall back to this little... Uh, pass through to the backyard and then just like a downstairs bathroom. There's two downstairs bathrooms One it's kind of the gym bath. So it's close to the kitchen and gym You know, you got to walk a long ways. It's a big and then we have this bathroom, which is like the um, Just main house bathroom <clears throat> and I made it fully functional Just because I had the space <laughs> I may have made someone too big. I'm still getting used to that. But when you're doing a grand space, I think it kind of works and then you come back here. This is more the family room, the hangout room. <laughs> and a coffee pot. Did I put a coffee pot in there? I think so. <laughs> you know, they need it. <laughs> I mean, as some of those big family homes you need, like four, like a, like a, almost like a public washer and dryer, four washers. And I've, I've put in like two washers and two dryers and places. Um, yeah, so the bar area with the jukebox, you know, and I kind of went the neutrals on here and that's kind of, uh, lending into what I would say is a guest room or, um, like the in-law suite. So it'd be like on the, on the ground floor cause your, you know, in-laws are generally be older. Um, <clears throat> or it can be a guest room if you're, you know, your in-laws don't like live with you or if they don't come as visit as often. Um, so I kind of brought in kind of the creams from the other side, the blues there. And then this bathroom with the kind of the blues and yellows. I love blues and yellows together a lot. So it's a big one. It's a, this is a monster to get through. It is the biggest lot. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to yam on, uh, yammer on too much about my own build, but you know, at least you kind of get more backstory because it was mine. So you kind of know what was going on. So, um, and then I, I wanted in a lot of my inspiration, I wanted it definitely for the second floor, uh, big gallery in the center to open down onto the entry. Um, so I thought that was a nice touch. And I also, since it's open to the entry, kind of kept a similar, uh, palette that I was doing in like the main areas. I divert from them, you know, in the bedroom areas and things, but still try to make the style the same. And then we have over here, this hallway leads you back to all the kids' rooms. And then we'll do like the walkthrough like I did before, like, but it's just, it's kind of epic. And so here's like our nursery. I have a toddler uh, bed, 
bed, but you can kind of put, you know, any of the little kids' beds in here, whatever age they are. And I think it could work well um, up to where, you know, even when they get like a regular bed, you could just take out this corner piece. Um, but uh, yeah, it's really cute. And then I made the like girls' room, maybe they're twins or maybe they're just like sisters close in age. I'd say probably like, you know, maybe like eight years old, something like that, that eight to 10 range. And then uh, we did the sons. What I'd seen through the sons' room, probably be like a teenager. Probably like uh, I don't know. I mean, it could be anywhere from like thirteen to eighteen. Um, but oh, I had clutter. I had. Uh, I wonder what happened. I had added the uh, the clothes on the floor, the clothes pile. <laughs> It disappeared. I lost my clothes pile. <laughs> so, and then he gets his own little office. I don't think I showed the office downstairs. There's also an office. I don't know why there's a sea fighting here. I honestly don't think I did anything. But anyway, that's his, uh, that's his little office. And he probably spies on the neighbor's kids at this. I, but I'm sure he's looking at the stars. Yes. <laughs> Um, that's the third floor, but it is connected to that. Um, and then we have this outdoor area here. This little patio. I love this little bougainvillea um, trellis. Or what, um, what are these called? Not arches. <laughs> I know what they're called. Um, awning. Well, it's like an awning, but it's also a trellis. Um, but there's a specific uh, name for it that I actually know. Um, I'll come to me. So that's, of course, um, open to below to the dining room. I didn't want to mess with ceilings or anything in there. Um, this is the master suite up here. Did more like in blacks and whites and grays and creams. This fun wallpaper, which I love from base game. And then kind of do the black and white bathroom with that. And this tub, of course, that we've all been using the shower. I swear a lot in every build. And then this base game, uh, friendly art, usually a uh, paint by reference. And then there is a little uh, greenhouse that they have on the way so they can take care of their indoor plants. And then they have a little patio where they do their topiary, hang out, seat. So, you know, you can be amongst people or you can be all on your own on your own terrace. You know, the kids' room. Uh, oh, yeah, this is the little, the baby's bathroom. This is the boys' bathroom and the blues. And they both get their own water closets. And then the girls each have their own little sinks. And I think that same shower <laughs> again. I mean, it's just good, you know. It kind of blends in. <laughs> huh? <laughs> JB, you like the punching bag in the bedroom? It is the boy. And also it was getting really tight. I wanted a punching bag in the gym and it was just, it worked play testing it, but um, I don't know. I think I may have put one in the gym too, but yeah, I think, I think his teenage boy, he needs some aggression to get out. So he doesn't get it out, take it out on his parents. So this is a little patio that the kids share. It's like kids patio. So when they want to talk about their parents, they go over there. Okay. And we already saw the office on this side. So the tower, uh, this is an art studio. And this is actually one of their latest paintings. That's still on the easel. They're getting better and better. I think they're at level five or something. <laughs> and then uh, let's go do the little, oh no, I don't want to open the gallery. I want to change my camera, free cam. Did I take, okay. Are you guys all right I don't want to get further away let me try and sorry <laughs> this one's gonna be tricky because it's all like um, up on the platform and then you go down to the living room so I probably I may have changed cameras when I go down the living room and you're getting a slow, nice view of the front door, but I don't want to mess up my cam. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's perfect. And then back up. So you have the three chandeliers hanging from the ceiling above it. 
always got to make sure I don't hang in a free space above an open area. <laughs> and, you know, just some like seating on the side here. This is leading into the office. So it's kind of like a nice little tea area over here. And then uh, the office is on the same platform. Let me go down a little. So it's eye level. It's like, all right. So yeah, and of course, you have the office, you want to be facing the window, and then we have all the bookcases. And just kind of like a nice loungy area to meet with clients or um, his painter, maybe he's dealing with this paint dealer. I mean, there's a lot of people in the house that use this office, so it's just kind of a nice place to have meetings or just hang out and read. And then going down here, we're going to have to go down. <laughs> there we go. Oh, now this is a weird thing. I don't know why in the free cam it, like, has this door here, but, like, when you're in the regular cam, it doesn't. I should just go back in free cam. It's really annoying. I don't know how to get rid of it. If anyone knows how to get rid of that, let's go downstairs again. Yeah, because it's it's not there in regular gameplay, but it's there. Um, wine on the wall just in case. <laughs> Always wine on the wall just in case. I may go into the regular. Oh, gosh. I guess I have to go down in there. Let me do that with the regular cam. Just ha seeing that um, it's just hard with this one. There's so many levels that like free cams usually better, but um, so with the regular cam you don't see that door. That somehow why does it exist in free cam? I don't know. So this gives you a better idea of the living room space. Um, you know, a little chat area. I do a lot of chat areas. That's a good way to like utilize unused space um and then we have the dining room i mean the breakfast room you're gonna have a you're gonna have a breakfast and you're gonna have a formal in this kind of place maybe multiples but this is what i did <laughs> let's cue oh, i can't cue down okay i'm gonna go back and free cam here because it's a big tall room okay so let's go down and then we can go back here we go and then it's open to the kitchen, which I really like. So the kitchen feels like its own room, but just because of arches, it's still open too. We put the knight over here. He seemed less menacing than if there were two giant ones because I had to make them bigger in the entryway. So um, similar palette, but started adding in the blues and the creams. And like I said, some of this umber and orange too, and the, to you know mix with the golds. And then in the kitchen is a huge kitchen um, with double cabinetry. And this tile has been used in a lot of the builds in so many different ways. It is gorgeous. I love it. I'm going to use it more in the future. It just it's it plays well with so many things. And I think it just makes this palette really great. Let me just go in here real quick. So, yeah, I mean, I could I could I could cook in here. I don't know if the owners actually cook in here, but I mean, in my games they do because, you know, your maids don't do a very good job of cooking in the game. So you go back through here, back through the formal. Now that we've got, uh, now that we're cooking, this is that little bathroom. Yeah, these big ones take a minute. That's why I kind of average. Some of the small ones take less time. So I just did this kind of center pantry cabinet. Divided up to two vanities and this great tile that has the matching flooring, which is really awesome. And then this is another uh, vestibule to the outside. And we did the piano here and the chess table because we're getting into kind of the family room area where there's a bar and the jukebox. I should have probably put the neutrals in the formal and put the other ones in the family room because <laughs> this probably gets more use actually. But I don't know. For cohesion's sake, this kind of worked better. But I love this fireplace. It's great. And then more wine on the wall. All of us have the wine. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so just like kind of shelf, put the picture on the shelf. This part is great. 
And then now we're coming into our guest room or like in-law suite. We have a closet to the right. We don't really need to go in there. It's not a very big closet. You know, like family photos. Any in-law suite would have family photos up there. And yeah, just the blues and like um, the very um, buttery cream. Not even buttery creams. They're like uh, more beige. But in the browns, this rug really ties it all together. I love this rug. It works great for just giving you a big pattern to work with. Um, things are made larger and smaller, of course. Um, a little kind of reading nook. And then their bathroom, it's pretty grand. They got the two sinks, kind of L-shaped with the pantry urn. And then like, I love the bathrooms that are big enough to put like an ottoman where you can like take off your shoes or sit and put on lotion. I don't know if it's too much details. <laughs> I don't think that exists. A double character. <laughs> that bar is pretty nice. I mean, that's as nice as bars in public places. So yeah. And I love this flooring that goes with this. There's not much like options to really go crazy trying to, I, I'd kind of matchy match some of the floorings with the walls because um, in the bathrooms at least, because it's more difficult in the base game to match up. Yeah, the back of this bar is really cool. All right, and then um, I'll do the exterior. Well, we can just look outside for a minute. Oh, I got a little Z fighting myself. <laughs> so yeah, they have, you know, View of the canal, or the they've got like a bay view actually, if that's a bay, and then the the swimming pool and the seating, and there's more seating in the garden. So let's get back in here, and I think that's it for the. Oh, we didn't go back. This will be a minute. Well, you saw the gyms before. We'll go up to the second one. I mean, a gym's a gym. I didn't really put that much into it. <laughs> Try to get through the big houses in Tiley Manor, too. <laughs> Captain Price the second. I am doing good. Welcome in. I do play Red Dead. Yes, I do play Red Dead. Um, the effect with the online, the only problem is, you know, they don't update it anymore. So we can't. Uh, just like stuff's broken, you know, it'll never get fixed because there's no support for the game. So you come up the stairs. Let me try to do this one without making you all heave ho. Okay. <laughs> I'm in three camera. Okay, let me get back into this camera. This, this is tight, I think. And then we got our butler here. It's much nicer when your sims are walking around here. But anyway, and then, um, wait. Try again. There we go. There we go. Yeah. So you enter over here and then you can either go upstairs to the art studio. You can go lounge over here on this side. You go to the children's room and this door leads you to the master bedroom. Oh, I don't like the way they do the walls in that. So this is the little hallway to there. So let's go in the sundroom first. So this is sundroom. I did used to have a pile on the, of clothes on the floor. I felt like it was a little too clean and there's not that much clutter in the base game, but I did have one right there by the bed, but it did not load in to the save file for some reason, but I'm sure that's okay. You can put, you can put your own clutter there and then like kind of music corner uh, over here and then this punching bag because, you know, kids get angry. I put a closet over there. And then um, we'll look at the top thing. Here's his bathroom. Why is it being like this? Sometimes it likes to cut things off in that camera. Okay. Let me just go back down in here this way. We may have a better time of it. Or maybe not. Yeah. For some reason it's cutting in the walls really bad. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now we can look around. So these little bathrooms are tricky, but I like to show them. I mean, it's not a little bathroom. And use that one again. Oh my gosh, that one's like the go-to. And then like the full-length mirror and the shelving and that little niche. And then there's a there's a toilet back there. You don't really need to walk in there to see the toilet. And then we'll go over here. 
And back here is the little girl's room. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, I mean, this turned out really cute, I felt like. I was really happy with it. You know, kind of, you can see, like, the mom probably had it, like, of course, an interior decorator or something just to make everything you know, certain things kind of uniform, but then the kids came and put their posters and their clutter. And I put the Grogu in. So, you know, if you put a Grogu in, I love you because I love Grogu. <laughs> I, I did put the laundry basket down here. So it does add a little, a little color, clutter there. And then we have their bathroom. And. here oh, I love this little shelf I used it in my modern build you know and then this that that swatch worked well for an adult room and then this looks great for kids rooms that's a really great shelf there's some really nice swatches in there okay oh let's not forget the nursery so here is the nursery and like I said this is a toddler bed because my my kid aged up while I was play testing I did have like a like an infant bed. Um, now I have, have, a, have a toddler bed, and then you could even fit the twin beds in here and remove the little shelf if you want. So this can really grow with your kids. It's not a huge um, room, but I think it's perfect for what it's supposed to be. It's got the little window. Um, let's go down here, and then we can whoop, turn back here to this end, and we got the interactive bookcase, toys everywhere. Um, I use those shelves, the cloud shelves too, but every time I put toys, I position, position them so cutely. And then they came, you know, <laughs> a blarfy, <laughs> I think so. Yeah. On the dresser. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I did that in the other room. I put him on the dresser. So, sorry. <clears throat> then we'll go over to the other side. And then the kids' bathroom, which I thought turned out really cute. So this is great if you know it's like you have the applique and like the kid art. But you know, even if you change this maybe into like a single teens room later, you could just take like this off the wall and it's just like a perfectly normal bathroom. But you know, I put the cute stuff in for the kids' bathroom. So then lastly, well, let's go through like we're going through the door, all fancy like. Are we in our are we on our free cam? Okay. So here's the master. All right. Let's go oh, back as far as we can. Here we go. Now we can see. Um, and this one, you know, there's a lot of color around the house. I decided to do like more neutrals, grays, blacks, uh, whites, some creams. Um, and I really like the way it turned out. I love this wallpaper. Oh yeah, the other bedroom. Yeah, Blarfy was on the. <laughs> I, I shrunk him down. You can't. You can't play with him, but the other one that you can hug and adults can punch is the uni. I think I put on the ground. One of one of those stuffed animals. But yeah, Blarfy, I shrunk down just to be like a cute little something to look at. Um, and then you know they have the the wife's office space up here in the bedroom some people the sun and they have like their own office space but they also have the office downstairs so and then the girls i gave them like two um desks in their bedroom so they can do homework i really try to think you know to be living here and then this is the master bathroom which i'm happy the way it turned out the base game has some good options for black and white and i love this art i found from the um gallery that's base game friendly. That's a fun, that's a fun rabbit hole to get yourself into. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really cool. I just did like a black and white bathroom recently in real life. And we did the wall hung toilet. That's like black. It looks really cool on like this black slate there. They lived in uh, Norway for uh, quite a few years. So it was very kind of um, inspired by not this bathroom. <laughs> And then we have some more great uh, base game friendly art. I don't know how the people made this, but it works in your base game. So I, you know, I thought this house would be more like figural, more classical kind of painting than like the modern house. 
And then just to, again, we're out here at this vestibule where you can kind of lounge, go out on the patio, look at the gorgeous views across the water. You got city views. And then um, I love a pergola. That's what this is, a pergola. <laughs> I'm like, what is a formal name for what this thing is? Yeah, so and the pergola, I love, I love using. It just added some, you know, shade to the area without using umbrellas and added just some coziness, which, you know, a big rambling house like this needs. And then the last room, we're almost done. Trying to get you through here in a Tamney way because we got some more things to go through. But this is the biggest lot. The next lot I'm doing will be the other biggest lot, second biggest lot. So we can just kind of look at the art room. Let's go free cam. Oops. Okay, there we go. Maybe a little higher up here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, this was fun with the steel life. I wanted to have, I did paint this actual steel life before. It'd be fun when you load the game if you had the actual steel life on the, on the canvas. But I did paint it. It's just not on the canvas. I think I sold that one. And then it's kind of fun over here. Um, let me go down a little bit for over here. I feel like in this room, it either wants to be too tall or too short. So we'll go taller because we can at least see. Um, and the, I like the way that, you know, and they can walk all the way around the stair areas. It almost made like an impromptu gallery walk in such a small room, which I thought was fun. And then we just did a uh, little little pint-sized bathroom in here. Oh, I'll go look at that from above. Let me get you out of that horrible camera. Okay, there we go. Yes, pint-sized toilet sink. I didn't even put art in there. <laughs> That's surprising. I think I was running out of art. You know, and you can see like old photo, like painting photos, like prints of artwork and stuff in these. Okay. And then we'll do that last go around look see of the landscaping. And I made this fountain functional. It was a debug fountain, but I added the fish and then I added some of the fountain stuff in, in here on the sides. So it actually spurts, you know, has water and feels like it's going. You don't see water like pooling in the bottom, but it's the best I could do. I didn't have the, the Moroccan. Uh, well, I do have it. That Moroccan patio pack, but this is no packs. So um, that is that one. And then let's go on to the next one, which is going to be the Rippling Flats. All right. All right. Here's our next build. This build is in the uh, Rippling Flats lot. Uh, this was done by Space Chaser. That's their uh, gallery ID. And it's with two R's and it's down in the description of the video. And uh, this is uh, called NYNC 2024 Rippling Flats. Uh, made for the New Year New Crest Challenge. When a famous architect's sister described her dream house to him, he despaired at having his name attached to what would surely be the ugliest house in the country. The stunning octagonal home is usually described as one of the opposite, and a statue of architect now stands proudly at the entrance. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, I guess there is, but in the inspiration, there's a real home inspiration, which is this one they found on the internet. And I guess there's a story behind this whole house and, and the architect who built it. So I'm fascinating. I, I would like to know more of the lore. <laughs> Is Space Chaser here in the chat? I know everybody couldn't be here today for the showcase. So yeah, here's the inspiration. And you're like, how can I build that in The Sims? You know The Sims is mean, you know? <laughs> totally against HOA rules. <laughs> and then, I mean, look at this. This is incredible. Up to this top detail and the little glass peak. I mean, this turned out really great and then oh that'll be the next one so let's get back into the build let's look at let's look at this this is my neighbor so i watched him the whole time but i i was very impressed i was scared too um manage worlds so we're in the llama lagoon neighborhood and we are on the last lot in the llama lagoon neighborhood we're cooking with gas i think we're doing pretty good these big ones are a bit to get through but 
Uh, let's go into build mode. I'm going to get some water. And if you've just uh, joined in, we're doing the showcase tour of all the base game lots built for the New Crest World on Sam and Bean's unofficial uh, Discord challenge. And it was challenging, but it was so rewarding. And I'd never built an only base game before. I just like having everything available to me. It's kind of like, <laughs> I'm just one of those people. And then and they have the same car as I do, except they size theirs a little differently. I think theirs looks actually to better scale than mine, but in my driveway, I thought that was funny. <laughs> I think there's only like two base game cars, so we used it. I mean, the other ones don't look real. I think they're supposed to be like Hot Wheels. So let's look on the outside here. This is gorgeous. This groundwork is gorgeous. And then it looks like a debug gate, uh, which is fantastic. I love this like being kind of open right there, like a skew. And then uh, doing the uh, green fence. Um, I don't know. Are these the ones you place? These look like they're fence and then fence. I don't know if these are the ones because you can also just place these hedges as well. But I love the hedge against the whole fence up here. It's incredible. You know, and all the vegetation matches the world like perfectly. And everybody really did that. You know, nobody, everybody matched the world with their... Um, vegetation i'm really really super impressed like i love this work look how natural this looks that's spectacular i mean this is so natural here of course move objects on was probably definitely used i use it so <laughs> and uh, this pathway with these individual rocks you have to place down one by one some have twos but yeah it's a lot of patience. And then they use the same pergola. Look at that. We have the same pergola. So this one has the red bougainvillea. And uh, that's just so cute. I love it. Um, fantastic back patio with these hanging planters. I love those. Oh, I lost somebody. I love the little red rose <laughs> by the gravestone. I don't know if it's a game thing or if they placed it there. It's just gorgeous. I love this whole wraparound porch. This is this is a feat. This is definitely a feat. And then these beams are so great. Kind of the Victorian. You know, it's it's got a it's got a like it's like Cape Cod esque. You know, it's like early twentieth century Cape Cod or something. Kind of reminds me of. <laughs> but it's like an artist house. I think some some eccentric. So. There's going to be that. <laughs> oh, yeah, the stone pathway is so good. You know, and sometimes I forget about it. I do. Let's look at the floor plan. Oh, and the pond. And they have all these little moments happening. And then the, the little fish. We are such good neighbors. We both love that little fish fountain. And then they have a perfect vestibule for a large home. A little powder room. And then, well, it's kind of like the the entrance vestibule, and then you have a central. I mean, this is this is like this is what big houses do. Yeah. Then you have your central vestibule. <laughs> come into my vestibule. Then come into my secondary vestibule. <laughs> um. And this little uh, sitting room and bar so cool i love the way they did the upper cabinets with the uh, ottomans to create like a uh, built-in bench seating that is so fantastic i love that about this it's just the colors the, the grays and the pinks so beautiful i love i love those choices in this one <laughs> oh they also have nice uh, rectangular ones too yeah, there was some, I used quite a few of the base game rocks. I was, I was pretty impressed. There's quite a few. I mean, the ones I had used in all of, oh, I didn't turn off the grid, you guys. Shame on me. <laughs> oh, and this is another, oh, this is fantastic. I love this little room. So then this one is open to like the painting area and you can hang out and then go out onto the patio. 
It's like, I'm already lost. <laughs> I, I only didn't get lost in my houses because I've been in them so long. I would have been told, I'm glad that that giant one was mine because I would have been like wandering around for days and they'd have been like, it's midnight. Stop the stream. Yeah, this dining room is gorgeous. I love it. Here's the kegger. Get the kegger, JB. <laughs> And then uh, the kitchen. Oh, I love this, especially in a house like this. And of course the smeared like uh, plastered brick. Sorry, it's got like a, like a smear effect. <laughs> um, and they have kits. You can do this to your brick in real life more easily. Um, yeah, I love this kitchen. I love, I love the fireplace in it. I'm going to be doing the real walkthrough on the ground soon. So I'll just mainly try to stay the floor plan. It's hard. I love this back staircase. That's so like common in like older homes. And I love this little spot with the plants and the landing area. That's really cool. And then a pantry, a proper pantry and a little like TV and sitting area. And breakfast. Oh, this is like such a multifunctional kitchen. And a coffee pot. <laughs> yeah, this is gorgeous. And this is, I think, the escargot cabinetry. It's very, it's some of the best space game cabinetry. Although I've seen such great ones. I have that industrial one I want to use now on one of my lofts. Okay. I think we did, yes, because I'll do I'll do a little more patio like at the end. But I think we got the first floor as far as floor plan look. And then you come upstairs through this hallway and you have the um, the plaster brick again, which is fantastic. Gorgeous in this bathroom. And that's just like a shared bathroom. And then you have a kid's room, I'm assuming, or a guest room. Yeah, it's probably more of a guest room. It looks a little more grown up to be kids, but it could be. Some kids are made to like keep their rooms a certain way. And then we have the office and like an office lounge area. I love how they use this odd shaped room. It looks great. And this makes it fun. I'm going to change to afternoon just so it's a little brighter. Some of this lighting is a little more dim. It's more ambient. And then this little uh, twin bedroom. And then another little office bedroom. And then the bathroom. I love the little laundry basket and all the clutter. That is so cute. And I love the design. These colors are so pretty. I love greens and pinks together. Really fun palettes, but really, I mean, they look like what would be in this house, I think. And then it gets real crazy, you guys, <laughs> in a good way. <laughs> so you take the ladder up here to this part, and then you have your walk around. You can look down into here. I love that. Love that so much. And we also have a glass ceiling, which we'll see when we're up here. Um, and then they just did kind of like storage and uh, stuff. So it's just, it's, it's really fun. It's really, I mean, this was, this was a feat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at that. And you can look down in there. This is gorgeous. This is so good. I mean, you have to have like those eccentric people that come up with that. <laughs> architecturally <clears throat> yeah and I don't know like I mean they all drain pretty good but luckily you don't have to worry about roofing you know issues literally in the sims but this is cool this is exactly like in the real house it's amazing so let's go do a little uh tour where's our front this was tricky. It's just a lot of, lot of places to get in. All right, let's go to free cam. Oh. I'm gonna try to, I think I can move faster this way. Okay, let me go down. <laughs> 
Chair Hub, you can't pick a favorite out of all these amazing builds. <laughs> but this is definitely one that stood out to you. So neat design. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can't deny just some really innovative uh, design. And when you can pull it off in The Sims and it looked this gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. I mean, really. I mean, they showed it to us. Um, Space Chaser uh, showed this to us on Discord like the inspiration a while back before they started building it and I'm like that's amazing you know if you can pull it off and they sure did so let me get back a little just enough to where the perspective isn't too foreshortened uh, wonderful this is, a, this is a first entry vestibule and then you have a second vestib stair staircase vestibule. <laughs> I have to use like this mid-Atlantic accent when I'm going through a really fancy house. And then you can almost just go front all the way to the back here. And you have like the artist studio and hangout to get their own fireplace. Like I think the owner is definitely the artist because like they're like, that's my space. And then we have our cute bathroom i love i love this wall i love this trim and this paneling this color is so nice too beautiful the mirror seems larger maybe it's just because the bathroom's small <laughs> you can get some of the larger ones in the mod packs <laughs> all right this i think this is a closet because it's under the stairs oh no oh wow this is a full-on dining room okay I should have I should have really looked before I started wandering around. And I love the chess table. It's always good to have when people need to work on their logic skills and uh, yeah, chess is just always good around. I've seen it in most of the builds actually. It's a great interactive item, and this is this is just stunning. This is so beautiful, and this display is so great, especially when you don't have a lot of wall displays in the base game. I feel like this kind of tool display really works just to give some texture and to give something with depth that's not a painting. <laughs> oh, JB, New England, New England shorelines. Yeah, it does feel New England. This would totally be like Stephen King would totally, this would be a house in one of his movies for sure. <laughs> Except there would be really scary. Maybe when I, I'm going to, I'm going to try and play out this world. And I'm going to, I'll update with a video eventually of that. Um, that'll be fun. But maybe I'll make this kind of like a steep. Oh, we've been through there. Okay, went through there. Went through there. Is this, okay, I think we're missing this. Oh, no, we went to that one. Okay, let me get out. This is one of those. I got to look and see. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's second floor. Yep. Yep, we did. We made it. Um. Uh, uh, do we? Yeah. Did we do the kitchen? Did we get in here? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Incredible kitchen. Incredible. Try not to miss anything in these big houses. Okay. So, you get up the stairs here. Let's just try and get in here on uh, 3 cam. I like to use Sims 3 camera for some reason. Free cam to free cam. Okay, so why don't we, this is the lovely vestibule. Let's get a little further in there, like we're coming up the stairs. There's the ladder that goes up to the crazy wild storage area. I love it. I love that duck. I use them in a lot of clutter. And then we have, oh, let me get back. Cam, not too far. Wonderful office. I love this desk. It's so beautiful. I love the little post-it notes. It's so cute. And then there is like a seating area. Like this is the one that has like an odd shaped room, but it really works. They did it really well. And then, oh, and then a the little bedroom off of the office. This is really nice. Oh, and you have a little door to a little balcony. But we'll look at the outside stuff later in more detail. The patios and then the bathroom. This is so lovely. Yeah, these counters are gorgeous. Even with all the counters we have in the game now. 
just as far as like classic uh, transitional or traditional cabinetry, I use these all through my um, my Mediterranean that you just saw. So let's see what else. What other trouble can we get ourselves into here? Okay, so that goes there. This is labyrinthine. <laughs> it literally is. I think I'm supposed to go in here. You see this bathroom? Very cute. Now on down the hall. Let me make sure I got all the ones. I don't know if I got everything up here. No, I didn't get this whole side. I think. Now we saw this one. I think it was this one. Let's get down in. I like seeing it. Boots on level. Okay, let's go back a little bit. Oh, not too far. Just right there. Because that'll give you your least uh, shortening of perspective. But we can see everything, which would be nice. Yeah. This is a really cute room. Like I said, you know, in a house like this, you're going to have some odd shaped rooms. But the design is really great. Like, it doesn't feel odd shaped at all. And this is a fantastic bathroom. I love the shower. Shower tub combo and the laundry. You can just throw in laundry day when you're ready. Turn one of those rooms into a laundry room. It's kind of annoying too, a little bit, the laundry. <laughs> okay, did I hit that one? I think I hit the one on, did I hit the one on the right? I don't think I did. I think that was the thing. I didn't do my right, right. I did do that. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. So that is that. I don't know about necessarily. Let's just get down in here and see how it kind of feels. I'm scared. <laughs> okay. Let me get free cam. No. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. So you can see up through the ceiling. All the little halls. You know. So you get around here. It's definitely room to get around. It's just, you know, like you'd think this face would be getting around. <laughs> I don't want anybody to get sick, so. <laughs> well done. I can't wait to put my, like, Stephen King story in this house. A nice New England family founds this beautiful, crazy house. And they didn't know that bad things happened there. <laughs> So, <laughs> starting to make up a story for your house. <laughs> so, the next one, let me get my in-between. So, that actually wraps up all of the Llama Lagoon neighborhood, which is this one right here. So, we have totally toured uh, the Bridgeview neighborhood, and we uh, love Llama Lagoon. And we even had some llama topiaries right here at the Cluedo Museum Library. Brilliant. All right, let me go back to Manage World so we can get into um, what's our first one going to be. It's going to be another um, community lot in Ridgeline Drive neighborhood. That's where we're going to be next. So right here. So I'll pull up our... Um, so now this is Ridgeline Drive. This is a photo that I took um, looking down the street. I just thought that, you know, if you're looking at this, this whole world seems to blend together. There, you know, on the left side, you have homes that were already, or, oh, this is the ones we're doing. It's just amazing. It looks amazing. I love this shot. Um, it just, it the whole world looks, looks stunning together. Although you would have different types of buildings, you know, unless it's super planned community, you're not going to have everything look alike. So I think it was a great idea. Um, so the first one is a really fun build, the community lot. They did a pool and they based it on, you know, the concept of a wave. And uh, let me just show you the pictures. These are kind of long pictures. So I put two of them just to get a sense. And also just seeing the way this roof is with the glass roof. I mean, this is, this is stunning. This is, this is a work of art. Um, just adorable. So let's go and look at the actual build. 
All right. <laughs> the HOA fees are less here. <laughs> well, I don't know if they pay on community lots, but yeah. Ridgeline Drive is more the like middle class. We had our starter homes over in Bridgeview. We went and saw like the fancy pants land in uh, the Llama Lagoon. And then uh, now we're in our upwardly mobile neighborhood of Ridgeline Drive. They don't get a water view over here, but it, they do have a beautiful view of nature and the forest. So, I mean, it's not, I, I wouldn't kick any of these lots out of bed there. Really, it's, Newcrest looks so boring and now it's so exciting. I'm like, now I want to play Newcrest. Like, I just had some trailer parks here. <laughs> my Newcrest is really trashy. Not this save, but my other uh, game save. So let's just look around at the outside. That's very important because a large part of this building is about the exterior. This sign is so cute with the little turtle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, this roof is, is special. Uh, kudos, kudos to you. This is not easy. You had to really, really think this. I love the little pond edition. Another little sandbox. I'm going to have to figure out the sandbox hack. <laughs> Everybody mentions the sandbox hack. Oh, let me turn off the grid. Oops, I'm so sorry. Don't want to see the grid. I want to see the pretties. And then I love the diving board they made with platforms and walls. That is really amazing. Um, and these lounge chairs are cute, especially for a public space. These are perfect. Oh, and look at this little, just like modern fountain inset into that pond. Great stuff. And I love the green wall. I love the, the hedge wall. All right. Let's just look down inside this bad boy. Yeah, Erica, this build is really, really cool. I love it so much. It's just fun. So you have kind of like a front patio area, and then you go in in the back, and you have your pool. And you have the lights inside of your pool there, which are so super realistic and cute. And I love confetti wall. Again, it works. We've seen it used so many ways. You know, using base game only, it makes you test your cleverness and your ingenuity, you know? And it really tested mine. So I'm like, I play with like 900 packs, but it's nice to see that you can do it without them. I mean, not that I don't love doing that. I love having every option. That's just me. All right, let's go. Um, I love these dressing rooms, all the lockers. It's so perfect. Let's go walk through here. Get back on this free cam. That's cute. I love the checkered. This is so cute with the turtle. <laughs> I guess I like turtles, right? Okay, sorry. I wanted to straighten it up for going in. Try not to make you throw up. It's hard in The Sims to be. Okay, I guess we need to go down a little bit. Let's back her up a bit. Just a little tight hallway. So we got our locker rooms on each side. These are cute. These are so cute. I love this. Oh, that light is fantastic here. Yeah, I, lo I love the use of this wallpaper. Um, in here, it's perfect. It's really perfect. I saw it used in another bathroom in like the real fun, playful family home. Oh, and look at the little stars. That is just something else. And then we come back into the pool. Look at this roof. It's so cool. And it is so cool. Look at that. And I love the, the lights they use. They're perfect. It's exactly the light you would see. And then they found this cool like wave art on the gallery and the no CC base game friendly art. I don't know how people do some of these. And I know some of them are the ones that the, you know, the Sims paint normally. And then there's the paint by reference. Oh, look at that. I love how that wall is like not a 
totally tall wall, which would be completely very normal in a space like this, especially with all like the steam and the and the and the humidity. That would probably help a lot. So let's just keep walking out the back. This is great. This is so beautiful. I want to go swimming. <laughs> Probably still too cold this time of year. And just look at that view. This is really nice. And this fits in so well with the neighborhood. It's so pretty. Yeah, this direction is really great. Oh, and I love kind of that, that like uh, gym kind of flooring out here. That looks great. Like non-slip very practical and see you still don't have your walls all the way up here i love that i love it but they're tall enough it's like for privacy but well done all right yes this is this is fantastic fantastic so creative so creative great roof job <laughs> I am bowing to you right now. <laughs> yeah, JB, this is amazing. I love this build so much. All right. And that was um, Sandy Run. That's called uh, Ilargi Zuri 76 is the gallery ID name. The person who did it. The uh, building is the Wave NCC pool. Like I said, all of these are in the description to the video, so you can download them into your game and play with them. Uh, they've all been play tested. This should be a fully functioning, um, just really gorgeous and diverse world to play in. I love it. So next we have the cookout lookout. Let me get my wave. And this one is uh, by Erica Emma S. Are you here, Erica? Oh, yeah, there you are. Are you in the chat? I think that's you, right? <laughs> um, so this is Cookout Lookout uh, by Erica Emma S. And uh, the gallery information is in the description. Uh, the description says, my entry for the new Crest Community Challenge, a nice and welcoming home to either grow into as a family or for an already established family to move into. Downstairs is open floor plan kitchen, dining, living room, and small office slash guest bedroom. Upstairs, you find a second living room and three main bedrooms. Currently furnished for six Sims, two parents, two children, one younger teen, and an infant. Unfortunately, it was a thunderstorm during playtesting, <laughs> so there's some puddles in the garden. <laughs> Don't we all have puddles in the garden? <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. You know, and this isn't a huge lot. And look at all that family. I mean, normally families are living more in this size than like, you know, some of those huge ones. But And then this is a lovely screenshot of the cookout lookout family home. So gorgeous. And I love like this like side front entry. It makes it so nice and quiet and private to you're kind of like off of the street, even though you're on it. Um, I think that's a really nice touch to that. So let's look at it um, in build. All right, got to do my water swig. Yes, it's your build, Erica, your beautiful build. <laughs> now we're gonna get down into it. <laughs> You're like, what are you doing to my house? All right. So let's go. Oh, sorry, guys. I need to go to that one. I was still on the, the wave pool. I got ahead of myself. But hey, we are like four to the end and not doing too badly. And we took a 30 minute break. So we've literally been like four hours. I thought it was gonna be a five hour stream. So I think I'm correct. <laughs> I multiplied. I did the math. Okay. That'll be my longest. I don't like four and a half hours. I 
I don't know. Some of those people that do like eight hour streams, I don't know how they do that. Like my throat just starts to get tight. All right, let's look at this guy. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. I love this fence. I love the different fencing all together on this. I love um, like this like stone kind of low fence for this area. So you still have like your street. Um, what is it? It's not called street cred. <laughs> Curb appeal. You're like, you're a designer? Talk oh, wait, well, let me get the grid off. Okay. Curb appeal. And I love these pavers. These pavers are great. Um, and then I use this in my contemporary. I saw this fence used in a lot. It's a wonderful fence, especially like a divider wall fence. It's really nice. And then this for like the more private fence and the hedge. I mean, it's incredible. They use like four different types of fences and it looks totally seamless. Kudos on the fencing and the, the groundwork. I love this raised patio and the open steps going down. That's really, really nice. I should have done a raised patio, but <laughs> that's what you do when you watch these. You're like, I should have done that to you. But, you know, everybody does their own creative clever things. So let's go down the floor plan. We'll go down first floor. Lovely. Where, where's our, oh yeah, our entrance is a side entrance. Okay, lovely. And this is really nice. It's like, again, like a mud room, kind of a little small entrance vestibule that goes up the stairs. Foyer, should we say? Probably, this is probably more of a foyer. The vestibule is usually closed in all the way, but um, and then we have the fireplaces on each side. It looks like the faux fireplaces. Oh, this is a great kitchen. This is a great kitchen. I remember freaking out of this kitchen. It was so cool. I love it. I love the open shelving under here with the fridges. Gosh, you guys, I'm 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 like a kitchen designer and this is good stuff. <laughs> if I need assistance. Uh, and, and you made these, uh, lights work so well, the colander looking lights that are like made out of colanders. And then I love another use of that industrial kind of, um, cabinetry right here on this island. This makes such a brilliant island. I really love it. <laughs> Erica, you don't remember exactly how you furnished this, so it's just exciting for you as <laughs> the rest of us. <laughs> yes, JB, the center island, exclamation point for sure. That is, that is just amazing. Hold on. We're not, we're not doing the walk to yes. So I can get all on top there. there. Okay. Love it. You know, and it's like two different cabinetries and then the light wood of this matches the light wood of that really well. I love that. I lo I've used this cabinetry a lot in my modern uh, builds and those shades look so great in here. It really just adds a touch. It adds something. And declutter is, is magnificent. I'm going to get me a piece of that. Uh, what is that? Like a holiday loaf? <laughs> Fruit cake? I don't know. <laughs> we'll say it's banana nut bread. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Again, I love the use of the two lights over here in the uh, dining room. That's gorgeous. It's kind of a Danish modern look right there mixed with like you know, an antique side table. I love that. I love it. It's so eclectic, just like so many family homes are, you know, like, you know, my, my grandmother passed this down to me. Oh, I used to have a mid-century modern apartment when I was, you know, just starting out. And then they, they go together so well, like this house was put together over time. I love that. And then again, another clever use of the upper cabinetry. I've got to start doing these floating things with the upper cabinets because this is so cool. And then using the shelves to like make like open and close storage, especially like I said, base game, we don't have a lot of wall doodads. So you got to just make the most of it. Let me pull this one back a little bit. Let me get back as far. Okay. Get back further. Okay. Oh, nope. Too far. Okay. I got to get into free cam before I try that. It just throws you out of free cam. Or at least it does me. This is a great view. Love this so much. Oh my gosh. And looking into the front door. This is so cute. This just feels like a real family home. I love that door too. Really adds a lot. Again, really cool built-ins with the cabinets. I love that. 
How it goes low into the TV and then up higher. Clever, clever, clever. I may use some of these ideas in real life. <laughs> and of course, I love this is one of my favorite coffee tables. It just works well in so many spaces. And, you know, it's kind of like that exotic look. So it could be in a real modern space or it could be in a traditional space because they both use kind of exoticism. OK, let's back up for a minute. Look at this cabinetry, this built in cabinetry at the end of the hallway. Like it just just doesn't have to be a wall. <laughs> it can be full cabinetry. I love it. All right. Sorry about that. But what do we do? Okay. Sorry, I was drinking my water. Try not to sound too craggy. Oh, this is a gorgeous office. I love the palette. Oh my God, it's kind of like a blushes and the grays and the creams. Oh, this is beautiful. Kind of rosy, even more blush, like a rose palette. It's beautiful. This rug works so well. I don't think I used it with anything. I tried to in the built-ins. Let me go back a little. Just let me take it all in. I love it so much. All right, let's go. Oh. So once I forget between cams, like what the operation is. Okay, that's great. And I love the little wardrobe there as well. Little open book, like they're studying. Now let's go across the hall. What's happening here? Oh, this is fantastic. I love this bathroom floor. I love it. I need to do more large scale checkered. I don't really, I do those like quarter tiles too. Sam and Bean, <laughs> who is the one who uh, started this challenge, uh, unofficial challenge on Discord. They they have a video, I think, about doing the quarter tiles. I need to watch that because I haven't attempted it yet. All right, coming back around. Great view. Great view of just the whole gorgeous open floor plan down here. And then we come to the staircase. Now I'm gonna get us uh, up to the next floor. I don't think we have anything open to above, so we can probably just kind of sneak in here. And Sims 3 camera for a minute. Oh, I love that. I should get in a free cam. Okay. Oh yeah, I love this little, like the music area. That is a serious sound system from like 1998. <laughs> the Sims is really up on their technology. Oh, this is fantastic. A little library area. Oh, nice. So this is like a parent's room with an infant. Oh, with the crib. That is so cute. I love this. So true to life. You know, and yeah, a newborn, it's sometimes easier the closer they are, unless they really cry all night. <laughs> and I love all the newborn stuff. This is great. Beautiful screen. Oh, yeah, this one. Okay, let's back this up because this room is really cool. I remember the first time I looked at it, it was kind of like, I got to get you, give you ideas, uh, an idea of like how it's laid out. Okay, there. Okay, there. I think it's not too foreshortened. So yeah, you come in the bedroom door there and then you have this whole like dressing room area with a screen partition. So brilliant. You have the baby area, the cute mobile. I love these lights. I love these square lights. And then a uh, gorgeous like modern bedroom set. I love that bedspread. And then you have like the double mirrors and the built-in wardrobe. Oh my gosh, this is, wow. <laughs> and I love the navy. I need to use this navy more. That's so pretty. So pretty. And is there, uh, it's the bathroom outside. Okay, so. We gone. Yep. What is this a bathroom for there? Oh, this is a, a kid's. Oh, this is great. This is great. I love the two desks over here, kind of conjoined there. That's really nice. A backpack. Nice clutter with the sports equipment. 
This is really cute. Really, really cute. Great bedroom. Try not to get lost. <laughs> so this would be next. Okay, I'm gonna go back a little bit. Let's look at this bathroom. Gorgeous, gorgeous modern bathroom. Oh, I love this cabinet. It's so beautiful in this colorway. So good. All right. And then our last room. Oh, and this little like trunk uh, coffee table. I love that so much. I use that in a lot of builds and it works well. Like, you know, a, a modern loft or traditional, like a kind of steamer trunk look works, I think in all kinds of styles. And this is the most adorable kids room. Oh my gosh, look at this rug, that bedding. Oh, this is so precious. Oh, this, I love these backpacks with the books. I think I put some in mine, but I don't know. They just look so, all the swatches are so fun. Yeah, this is cool. I love that like step cubby, like um, storage with the baskets. And created that art shelf with the walls. Yeah, you got to be clever about like wall stuff because there is not. And much sculptural like in uh all right and this is the main uh, mezzanine area gorgeous let's get out of this cam let's see if we missed anything i think we got all of that let's look at let's get the roof on here how are we on time of day let's go afternoon just to get us brighter I don't see as well anymore, so <laughs> bright. I should have done the night shots of all of them outside. You can see. And then... So this was Cookout Lookout, and uh, Erica is here in the chat, and it's gorgeous, and we loved it. And uh, the build information is in the description to the video. So you can make your own New Year, New Crest community. Uh, you can download these and uh, play the whole city. I I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm really excited to add Sims to these. Um, it's going to be really fun. And just fact, this whole gorgeous city is base game only. And the holiday celebration pack that came with base game. <laughs> that was allowable. So sometimes it doesn't show up in your base game if it has that pack, which is kind of frustrating because that, that's the only one with those like candles, like the candle holders with candles in them. So, um, let's go into free cam. Yeah, this exterior is really beautiful. So this one, oh, let me go. Sorry, I got, I got ahead of myself and I don't even think I'm in here in the gallery. Let me get out because... I think I'm still in the other house. Someone's your next door and you think you just walk on over, but you can't. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back to manage worlds. And then we'll look at the... All right. Here we go. So this next one is the Civic Cliffs Rebuild. And uh, it was done by on the gallery it's a uh, Bazita Zita and um this I'll read you this and I'll show you the inspiration this is so adorable a small base game only build for Civic Cliffs in Newcrest this modern build will comfortably fit either a single sim or a couple uh check the back for a garden shed and outdoor bath underneath a curtain patio Built for the unofficial Salmon Bead Discord New Crest Community Build Challenge. It's a 30 by 20 lot. Yeah, this this is I would I would live here, you know. <laughs> That's just, so this was the inspiration they posted from uh, Pinterest, it looks like. Um, so cute. So cute. So this is like a screenshot, so that's why it's not super clear, but you get a very good idea. This is a 
this is just such a cool build. You know, basically like a tiny home build. Um, and then this is their version. Gorgeous shot. I love it. This, this is just, it feels like a, a modern cottage tree house. <laughs> oh, and Sims 3, you could walk over. Yeah. I heard that. I definitely, uh, I'm just kind of like, I just started Zooms 4 and, you know, I have most of the, not the, not the CAS packs. I don't really care about that. Let's get back into the Sims. Let's get into this build. You know, the CAS is kind of cool, but I mean, it's just not, and I love doing fashion stuff, but in this game, it's not as exciting to me. Well, I think I like it a lot of times in games where I'm the only avatar, so my fashion is very important. But when I'm dealing with so many people and I need time to build. Okay, let's take the grid off. Okay, this one definitely have to like just look around at every little detail. Oh, they used the little tulip flower lights. I've got to use those. I should have used those in my Hobbit cottage. I need to really explore more of the ground lighting. This is absolutely gorgeous. Again, everybody really mimicked the um, the nature in the world. You know, I mean, all of us used a lot of similar um, vegetation. So kudos. Kudos to us as a team. <laughs> Even though we didn't work together on these. Oh, this, uh, this outdoor bathtub is to die for. I love that. I always put outdoor, like, tubs in my Dreamlight Valley builds. But yeah, I, I love these kind of things, especially in these, I've done these Airbnbs like this and you're just out, you know, they're kind of near a park, but <laughs> I guess they have their, they have the drapes they can close. <laughs> just hope nobody walks in there taking a, taking a jog. Okay. Let's just look at this roof again. It's a masterpiece. And you can climb up here and like use these pots. I mean, it's so incredible. I think this is the only one you can't use because it's more for decorativeness. But um, yeah, this is brilliant. I love I love this. This is a very, very cool. I call it like Earth Mother Modern. It's my take on that. <laughs> So you go straight into the living area, which would be very indicative in, a, in like a more tiny home, kind of like this. I don't, I don't know if it necessarily fits the tiny home size, but probably does looking at it. Um, and just like a really like spacious, well-appointed kitchen. I mean, what a kitchen in such a small space and then all the windows and even looking out in the back. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. I like how you add the drapes just to warm up all of that and this paneled like uh, wood wall. I love the two different kinds of paneling. Yeah, that works really well as a feature wall in the bedroom too. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I want to rent this out. <laughs> I want to live here and rent this out. I love the glass door going in the bedroom. It just makes everything really open and light. There's so many windows in such a small space. Oh, these, these, these cabinets look great here. I love the pools on this. I use this cabinetry in one of mine, my modern build, I believe. So pretty. And then this, uh, you know, the gray subway beveled tile looks fantastic. I mean, yeah, it's all about this. This is a lot about the outdoors. I mean, you have your rooms are like, Perfect, nice size rooms. I'd rather have fewer rooms that were like spacious and you could get around easily. Like this is a nice kitchen. You can cook in, eat in, seat for. I mean, you could really entertain in this house. So let's do a quick, I mean, not quick, but um, are we in the brightest time of day? Let's go brighter. This is like tree house. I want to see the light coming through the windows when we go on our little tour. All right, let's get back in our, let's get closer to the door so we can be on that level. Before we get into the free cam. It's so funny. Sometimes I think I clicked it and I didn't. And I try to use those controls and it goes wacky. Wacky to wacky. Okay. So then come in the front door here. And let me pull it back just a little. 
Oh, yeah. Get out of the wall area. This is gorgeous. Look at this. And I love using the beam across and doing those walls to the ceiling. It's got this. Uh, let me go back. I'll show that later. I'll oh, like looking, trying to look behind me. It's not a big space, but there's so much to look at. Yeah, I love the way I did these ceilings. Oh, that looks great. And again, like the floating um, TV cabinet, that's like upper cabinets. I think those are ones like you put over the um, refrigerator sink. On the views out to the front are so spectacular. Oh, and I love this bedroom and office. Yeah, this is great. So cozy, so woodsy, but yet modern and clean. And you know, you never think that all those things can exist together. <laughs> yeah, Erica, it is a perfect size house for a single sim or a couple, you know? I mean, it's just, it's so spacious and, you know, a place like this, you probably have as either like a vacation home or you would have it like, you know, in a, like Florida or somewhere that like, uh, or California where it's pretty nice all year. So you could really use that outdoor space because that's where a lot of your square footage is because this is like a tree house. It's just beautiful. Well, okay. Do we miss a bathroom? Bathroom. It's, in the it's probably in the bedroom. Oh, yeah, here. There we go. Don't want to miss any of it. Oh, yeah. This looks so good. This looks so good. This would be great. And like a loft, like, too. I love it. I love the blacks and the grays. You know, sometimes those really dark palettes, you know, if you have windows like this, if you don't have windows, I'd probably say, you know, probably not, but... Um, if you have windows like this, a really dark palette in a small bathroom can really be nice. In place like this, you have sheen on the tile, you know? Like some people are afraid of like things being too dark, but that's not always the case. And sometimes darker can feel bigger because it creates like a depth. <laughs> yes, I love the ladders up to the patio. Let's go out and look at those, well, shall we? And we can even maybe get ourselves up on that roof. That would be fun. Look at those guys. This is so cute. And again, that amazing planter. The space game. Yeah. Love this little chess area with the bird bath. You have a little pond with some activities going on. Of course, we don't have any Sims living here right now. I, I thought about simming it up, but um, I don't know. It'd be too difficult. I mean, you really pulled this off. Amazingly, let's get uh, over in free camp. So let's just go up. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. And this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at this little pathway. I want this so bad. I would put a chair up here because I'd want to sit up here. <laughs> it's so pretty. And I love the beams. This is brilliant to do the beams like on the on the patio out here because if you do the beams inside, it likes to think it's all different rooms and roofing becomes kind of a nightmare. So I wanted beams in mine, but uh, I was a little scared. And again, I love the trellis um, foundation. That works so perfectly. Again, just gives that treehouse vibe. And then um, while we're this what direction, we'll just go over to the other side. Because it's just beautiful. <laughs> oh, this is really nice. This is really, I love this little stack of clutter over here. So beautiful. Giant planter so you can plant a tree. Oh, and this wonderful ground cover with the little flowers. I mean, this is just so creative, so charming. Let's go back down the ladder over here. <laughs> now it's starting to clip a little bit. Okay. There we go. Yay. 
Yay. Falling down the ladder. All right. Beautiful. And then, oh, let's go. Oh, yeah. Here's the little tub area. Let's, oops, let's get out of the ground here. This is fantastic. I love the little basket with the books. Oh my gosh. Oh, but you did like do all this tall hedge and the curtains. So it does have its privacy. But yeah, I love outdoor tubs and showers for sure. Oh, and then there's a shed. Oh my gosh. Look how cute this is, you guys. <laughs> Oh, this is like the starboard uh, wallpaper, I think. I love it. I love this so much. That chair is perfect there. Oh, and the signage. You totally find signage like that in an old shed. I love this so much. Let's just go around. Maybe up. Oh, no. Up. <laughs> this way. I think we're getting a little foreshortened, so... Let's look at it in the regular cam. I'll go back to free cam so you don't have to look at my stuff. You can just see the pretty house. Yeah, that's so nice. Love it. Let's move this way. That backyard is so cute. Love it so much. All right. Just fits right into the neighborhood. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So. That one was the uh, Civic Cliffs Rebuild. Amazing. Oh, my God. And then let's get to the. Let me go on the gallery in the right part. Manage Worlds. And that was done by Bazita Zita. That's the ID on um, Sims 4. And it's Civic Cliffs Rebuild. <laughs> and we are... Oh, no. Is that Civic Cliffs? Yes. And then now we come to Sam and Beans uh, entry in the New Crest Challenge. And let's go look at that on the um, PowerPoint. So this is from, this is Sam and Bean. Uh, she's the one that, uh, this is her Discord, unofficial Discord challenge. The New Year New Crest base game uh, community build. And this is our beautiful base game family home. Uh, Sam, Sam just knows how to make an incredible, incredible house. I mean, this has so much impact and it's not even, you know, a really large home. Um, and it's got more of those, you know, kind of suburban uh, transitional elements. So you can see kind of the traditional merge with the modern lifestyle. Uh, so it's just a nice, simple, basic, uh, basic game home ready for your family. That's really sweet. 30 by 20 lot, four bedrooms and three baths. I mean, she's packing some rooms in there. That's really nice. So you can really grow a family um, in this home. And then here's a picture. It's gorgeous on the gallery. Love this little sunroom. And of course, this awesome fence we used a lot. But I mean, it just, it adds so much. It adds so much to that fence. All right, let's get into the world. All right. So yeah. Base game, Family Home by Sam and Bean. And uh, the link to join... Uh, Sam's uh, YouTube channel is uh, in the description. Uh, she also has a Discord. That's where this is all coming from. A wonderful Discord. Uh, so much going on. I feel like it's one of the most active Sims Discords. 
I mean, even some of the really huge channels, like their Discord is not as fun. And I just feel like there's a community there. Just have to say. <laughs> oh, great. I'm like, how do you turn off the grid again? <laughs> okay. Well, this is just, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous. And look at the landscaping. So pretty. Oh, the little gnome on the rock. Oh, and look at this guy. <laughs> I hardly ever put the gnomes in. Like, unless it's like, Oh, this is just gorgeous. This is so stunningly gorgeous. I love the way they did the pool on the edge here. And then the raised patio. So lovely. And these trees are great, too, because they're, they're also in the world. Like, everybody's landscaping has been spot on. Like, everyone's. Um, I was so proud of myself for trying to follow the base girl game. Oh, not base game. The, the new crest uh, landscaping, but everybody else did it too. <laughs> and then the use of these rocks. These rocks are great. I did use these. They come in like three different um, shapes and then you can resize them. They're great rocks. And this ground cover is beautiful and have the planters. I mean, you got your grill, your seating. Let's go look at the floor plan. Oh, and I love this glass roof. On the little um, sunroom, garden room, sunroom. This is two stories, so we need to go on the first floor. All right, this is gorgeous. Let's get, where is our entry? Up here. There we go. Oh, this has got, this has got a serious entry hall. <laughs> All right, so you got the entry hall here. You have the powder bathroom. You have your kitchen off here. These are like kind of archway rooms. So they're divided, but they're still pretty open because they're not like doors. Um, but it's got more of a kind of traditional layout by having, you know, being a little more compartmentalized than like a wide open space. And then this kitchen is, is wonderful with the escargot counters. And I know that Sam loves them. Even though she now has most of the packs as well. They are they are just great. They are they are just a beautiful, beautiful cabinet. And I love they come in like black, silver, and gold hardware. That's really nice. And this dining room is gorgeous. Again, this navy wall. I need to use that. That's so pretty. And, you know, just as I thought with the architecture, it is, you know, transitional. You know, you have like the more modern chairs, you have like the more antique little side table there, sideboard. Um, yeah, it's just like this family has, you know, gotten stuff over the generations and added things. It's, it's like the perfect example. And then this living room, really nice. I mean, so you have a lot of, you know, quite a few uh, bedrooms. So this is a real family living space with lots of seating and another chess table. I think we all have chess table, <laughs> but I mean, it's so good for your sums. It's so good for your sums to develop. And then the office area. I love that there's two like desks in here and just like a reading lounge. And of course, love, 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 love me a sunroom all day long. This is gorgeous. I love the same brick on the wall, and then they probably just built it on and used the siding. You can see this being a later addition to the house. So fun. And as this furniture works so well. I use these chairs, too. They're great base game chairs. They can be, like, Mediterranean or outdoor. They're so cool. I use them in my traditional build and my modern build. But, you know, there's not a lot of outdoor-looking furniture. Let's go upstairs. Wow, this is really great. Now, this is definitely the family spaces. I love how this, like, secondary kind of mezzanine level, like, they put, like, the little dollhouse and the playthings. Because, you know, there's lots of kids' rooms. They're going to they're gonna spread out, and it's just normal to put things like that there. That's really clever. This room is the cutest. I love this orange bed with the dice. I love the color combos with the purple and the orange. That's a really fun combo. A little science station, cute chair. And the, the art's just perfect. Kind of the way the posters are. And 
You just see like it's like a young boy, probably like 10 years old or something. And this looks like a girl's room or maybe it could be a teenage girl. It could be a younger girl. It's got a little more, I'd probably maybe say like 13. That area, preteen to teen. But this could totally, you know, you just, it's one of those rooms that can grow with them until they graduate. It's beautifully, I love this plum like wall, like this aubergine. I love that. So cool. With the pink. It makes it really sophisticated. Like you could take all of this out of here and make it a guest room when they leave home. And it's still really pretty color. And then they use that one here in um, this nursery. Love the colors so much. I love like this like magenta plum. It's so cool. And the little dinosaurs around the tree. Ah, uh, I use this. I use this Van Gogh. I think I use that rug. Of it. <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good one. And the Van Gogh bed in the in the artist's room. That's so perfect. And this wall color is really pretty. I love the different blues. It's just so serene. It just has that total suburban family. You know, they've been here a while. It's so beautiful. And then this little bath, it's not a little bath, it's a master bath. This is fantastic. With the bath shower combo. Again, this tile we all love so much. <laughs> I used it twice too. It's it's just it's just gorgeous. You know, this the I'm glad they did the white uh kind of stucco and then they did like a beige stucco, you know, for more like Mediterranean or Spanish or traditional builds. You know, and this works better when things are a little more modern, transitional. Such a pretty bathroom. And uh, then you have the kind of library and this little niche, the hall niche. All right, let's do a little walkthrough. Let's get a roof on <laughs> before we do the free cam. We're trying to get as close to the house as possible before free cam. Oops, I just did what I didn't want to do. Get too far from the front door. Because then it's like, takes a sweet time to get up to the front door. Once you get free cam right, it's really nice. It's just getting it right. <laughs> I have to take all my photos in free cam because it just looks better. You can get a little bit more forced perspective with it. So here's a beautiful, let me, speaking of forced perspective, let's get a little more and let's go down a little bit. Okay, yeah, I think that's nice. This would probably be like, well, for me, eye level. I'm not super tall. Hey, Miss Cupcake, welcome in. <laughs> Welcome in. So uh, all of us on the Salmon Bean Discord, a bunch of us uh, got together and did this uh, community challenge where we had to build all base game homes and fill up the whole world of Newcrest. So there's 15 uh, builds and we're going through the second to last one. And this is by Salmon Bean herself. This is, oh, this is the little, the little bathroom, the powder room. I want to say powder keg. And then over here is the gorgeous uh, kitchen and uh, dining room area. Yeah, this kitchen, there's a coffee pot. <laughs> JB, we got your coffee pot in here. <laughs> so this is, a, this is a fantastic kitchen. There's such beautiful views, great windows. I love the way this is open with the three arches in the corner. You know, because it divides it up and makes it feel a little more traditional, but um, it keeps it open. You know, it feels slightly open floor plan because this is a very uh, eclectic house. It's got a lot of modern mixed with uh, kind of, I'd say, traditional or transitional. Sorry I use that so much, but it's what it is. <laughs> and then we come over here and they did an office. Really cute. I love this office with the two different desks and the bookcases. Oh, looks so good with that white. The white ceiling looks so good with this trim. You don't have to do the ceilings when you got that trim. And then you come out into this gorgeous sunroom with the glass ceiling. So incredible. 
Let me just go out to here. While we're still in the right kind of cam, because I think we got most of the first floor. I'll check. Oh, look at this. Oh, I'm ready to go swimming right now. Where Where is my swimsuit? I need to be here. And look at the views back here. You know, it's like where you're going to have neighbors. They have it fenced off. And it's kind of open where you can see, like, back to the hills. Um, got a workstation back here. Playground for kids. Grilling. Okay, let me see. Let me check my front. My first floor. <laughs> oh, you're excited to watch the replay. Thank you, Miss Cupcake. Yeah, I did. I did two of the builds in here. I did the one of the smallest lots and I did one of the largest lots because I'm a glutton for punishment, as you know. Miss Cupcake is a great uh streamer and content creator on my Disney Dreamlight Valley game. So if you guys play both of those games or are just even interested in that game, she's a wonderful content creator. Um, so you should definitely join her uh, YouTube uh, if you're if you're into Dreamlight Valley. I know we're simming here, but I know there's quite a bit of crossover sometimes. Look at this kid's room. It's so cute. Yeah, we're going to the second floor. And the kids area. I love this. I love this so much. It's so creative. A little giraffe. -y. And then this is the probably teenage, I'd say preteen girls' bedroom. Like I said, I love this dark plum color with the pinks. I think it's so, so cute. And the little bunny guitar. <laughs> that art is perfect. That's when I was like, it's definitely, it's a little more sophisticated than just like a little girl's room, you know. She's like, I'm grown up now. I still love pink, but I want to have more elegant things. And then the nursery. Like, I love this dark, like, magenta wine color with the with the dark blue. Those are That's a really good combo. And, and not just for a nursery. I mean, this would be great for like a cool, like, mod, like, library study so we'll keep going over here. Oh yeah, this is the art room. I love this so much. I'm so glad this big like art collection thing is uh, like uh, canvas storage is part of base game because that's really cool. And also this little uh, art table with the paint all over it. And then it's like a bedroom. And I love how, like I said, they did the Van Gogh bed. You know, everything's very artsy. For the one who's into the art. <laughs> and this little bathroom? Yes. Oh, that's not little. That's a gorgeous bathroom. Yeah, I love those sconces in the silver. I don't think I've used them in the silver that much. It's fantastic. This is beautiful. And that tile we all know and love. So good. Okay, let's go back out. And, okay. I think... We came here first. I think we go down here. I still get so lost. And I tried to get make sure everything was toured. Just secondary bathroom. Similar uh, kinds of materials. Just like pull back. So I'm not getting a nosebleed or something. <laughs> I don't want to pull it back too far because then it's like, ah. Okay, that was a little tiny room. Sometimes the camera gets crazy. So we had that bathroom. Yeah. Yeah, and we went into this kid's room first. So I think we got the whole upper floor. Let's just take one last look. <laughs> oh, yeah, Miss Cupcake. Yeah, I can imagine designing power we'd have in uh, Dreamlight Valley if they let us design like this. I'd love to be able to design structures, you know. I mean, the cool thing is you can build every wall. You build every piece. It's really nice. And, of course, Sam and Bean, uh, they are, like, uh, amazing at building in different architectural styles. Let me get rid of that. And, um, you know, riffing tutorials. I'm still learning, you know, like <laughs> I've only been building the Sims for months now. And, and these people are building for a few, quite a few years. So I'm learning, I'm learning from the masters. So that was Sam and Bean, um, who's also the discord that this challenge is from. 
And, uh, oh yeah, they even have diagonal placement, Miss Cupcake. <laughs> Imagine being able to put things on a diagonal. And then this is our last build by um, the wonderful, um, I don't know if you moderator, but I know you uh, work hard on the, on the Discord. Um, SR Simmer, who is also JB Morgan on here on the um, YouTube. Um, they have really been done a great job organizing this whole challenge, um, creating these spreadsheets, and they took a lot of the pictures that I used in here of the bills. I took a few supplementary pictures, but most of them uh, were from uh, SR Simmer, uh, JB, and uh, shout out to them. This last build's their build, and um, I actually, it's, I, I, I love this build so much. And I spoke with them yesterday. They said, oh, I'm, you know, I don't really go to you know, build pretty things. But this is really pretty. And the interior design is really pretty. And I'm an interior designer. So I think it's gorgeous. Let me get into the world. And we'll also go to the uh, PowerPoint. Or not that one. I don't want to go to gallery. I made the PowerPoint so I don't have to go to the gallery. I can just show the gallery ID. And then you can go to the gallery. <laughs> I guess then it would be another thing. <laughs> You're not a fan. <laughs> JB, I, I like it. Are you questioning my taste? <laughs> okay, let me get to the thing. You're making me laugh. I can't see because there's tears in my eyes. Um, this is Newcrest Family Home uh, and their LV Mama 46 on the um, gallery. And like I said, all of these lots uh, are listed in the description of the video. And I'm going to do my last water. And um, this one, this one's really, this one's really incredible. Oh, I cut that off. But it's play tested, uh, four bedroom, four bathroom home to accommodate uh, six adult teen child sims. And I'm sorry I cut off because I tried to make it to where I photographed the description. Even if I cut off the name, I have the name. But anyway. This is a fantastic, uh, I, I, I kind of feel like this has a bit of a New England flair too, kind of a farmhouse gothic kind of look to me. Um, I like when they're kind of unique when, you know, we have those builds that were based on real builds, but um, there's something fun about coming up with something yourself. And I, I think this turned out really fantastic. I love the shape of the house too. So let's look at that here. Uh, very gorgeous. And I love the, the stone mixed with the siding. And stone is really hard. The base game stone, it just seems really flat. They've gotten better stones since then. I wish there was something with, like, depth or texture. Like, textures really looking like textures, but we can only ask so much. Like, no bugs. We can't ask for that. So let's get back in. Now I'm just rambling on like a crazy person. So this is a 40 by 30 lot. And so four bedroom, four bathroom. And this big house comes in under $300,000. So it's uh, for an uh, uh, upper middle class home. Couldn't do better than this one. Let's go into build mode. I can't believe we made it this far. And I thank all of the contributors. I hope I have done this, this uh, justice. <laughs> let's see all right let's turn the grid off okay this is just beautiful i love this i love this low fence around here the mailbox is so cute you use that why well, she didn't have a house that worked with but i love she did the little uh base game um stones you have to place kind of one by one over like the pebble and grass that looks so fantastic and i love these plantings like in each corner little tiny pond that is just like again everybody used the the landscaping from this world it's really cool it looks great oh and we also have a little a pool house out here Looks like a gym. Oh, this is fantastic. Yeah, this pool is gorgeous. I love the shape of the pool too. It's a really great shape. And then just having that little bit of grass on that side. All right, let's go look at the floor plan. <laughs> 
A what? A fountain? A lot of the expense comes from the plants that are ready to harvest. You still have to pay. <laughs> yeah. You didn't tell the new homeowners that they have to pay for that. <laughs> so which is the fountain? Oh, this one's a fountain, right? It has the fountain stuff. This one here is a fountain, yeah. I love this. And I love these bushes right here. Yeah, so here's the little fountain element. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, I, I, I'll be excited to make it more playable and like look at these with like Sims playing. I just couldn't get that together. <laughs> I couldn't get that together in a few days. I was happy enough. I was like, I got to study this and be very well organized to get through all these lots without taking 10 hours. So <laughs> we've done good. We're like, we had a 30 minute lunch break and we're at like five, you know, I said it was gonna be a five and a half hours. So we're about right there. And so, um, gorgeous landscape. And let's get down the floor plans. I think I love this house. I don't care what JB says. I love her house. <laughs> so, okay, are we, yeah. Front entry, vestibule. This is gorgeous. What is this tree? That is super cool. You know, you have like your bench seating, take off your shoes, you can put down your keys. I like that it has the glass double doors. Like it really feels kind of palatial there. And then you go into the main area, which has like a card table, which is really fun. And then your formal dining. I love it. Here's our butler with the cake. <laughs> He's a butler bearing fruit cake <laughs> and more fruit cake. <laughs> or is it pound cake? <laughs> One of those. It's a loaf. It's a loaf of some sort. Let me go back a little bit so we can get a little bit. This room doesn't really need the perspective, but um, oh, maybe I should get into free cam. Okay. Now, oh, it's not free cam. Now we're in free cam. Okay, this is great. Yeah, because this is kind of a grand room. Kind of got to see everything. I love the tones. This is so beautiful. Okay, let's go. We came in here. So let's start to the right. We need to lower down a little bit. Our eye level is not right. <laughs> oh, look at this. Music room. I love this so much. This is great. And you have two violins, you have the acoustic guitar, you have the piano. I mean, this is like a family band in here. Oh, and the microphone. That's fantastic. JB, are you a musician? This looks like total family band. I'll have to come see your family band. <laughs> like the Partridge family, if anybody remembers them. <laughs> um... And there we go. Oh, hey, I love this wallpaper. I used it in my bedroom. Oh my gosh, this is a perfect powder room wallpaper. And I love the two mirrors in the powder room. You know, you might have friends in here gossiping. They want to both put on their lipstick. It's perfect. So good. And then the little, the little training potty. Gotta have your trainer potties. Potty potty. Ah. This is a gorgeous office. I love the art. I love these bookcases. They're they're so great that they're base game. I use this in my library too. And these chairs are great, the kind of mission style. And uh, love the desk, love the name card. It's like, do you know who you're dealing with? <laughs> Chess table. Oh, you needed a nice uh, wood slat ceiling. Look at that, I'm glad I caught that. I may have missed some of your ceilings, you guys. I tried to get it. Yeah, it's out here too, that's so pretty. That's a really pretty ceiling. Okay, so we went there. We're not going upstairs. We'll change the cameras and stuff. So I think we're heading over to the kitchen. Ah, oh, lovely. Oh, I love this. I love, I use this one in one of mine. I love this uh, stove and fridge. I like the wood stacked under there. This is great. I love the floating shelves the way you did uh, with the upper cabinets. So, so creative. And then the little breakfast bar with the chalkboard. I think that is so fantastic. <laughs> okay, so, and is this patio? 
Oh yeah, this is like, oh God, this is my favorite room. Oh my gosh, this is like the garden room. Uh, look at that. And the baby Yoda, you know, I love my baby Yoda. Thank you all. <laughs> he didn't do it for me. <laughs> I'm like, if it's got a baby Yoda, I'm gonna like it better. And I shouldn't say that as a, let me, yeah. I think we got our perspective too forced here. So let's go back a little bit. I think it's just such a small room. Let me get back on a free cam. Okay, there we go. That feels better. It's not so light. Ah, what's happening? This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I want this room now. I love how you use these three rugs together. Or is that one rug? I think it's just, uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, Jerhub, you need to learn to do your ceilings. Jerhub's being sweet today and acting as uh, kind of like on-call moderator. <laughs> He's my boyfriend and tech support. And then let's see where we get upstairs he is here. Oh, there's a whole upstairs vestibule get down in here okay let's get free cam all right yay and I love this play space this is so realistic it's so cool and you know it's kind of like the adults corner in the play space <laughs> this is great I love this little kind of breakfast bar area and the wall mural uh, all of those look so good. I love it so much. All right, let's get back here. Uh, yep. Now we can do this. Oh yeah, this is a great bedroom. Oh, I like the wine and the glass by the table. I had used all these bottles in one of my bills and I couldn't remember what to look up to get the bottle because I looked at bottles. The light coming in here is really pretty. Oh, we got probably a closet and a bathroom. Oh, this goes back out. So this must be the bathroom over here. Oh, yeah, I love this bathroom. Again, the pony walls I need to use. Okay, let's get backed up here. Oh, yeah, there's this wallpaper in this wine color. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's like a, um, not a claret. That's too, it's almost like a um, Cabernet, Cabernet, dark, dark wine color. Um, and then you go around and I love this stone floor in here with this tub and with all the golds. I really love this bathroom a lot. I do love this bathroom a lot. I'm not going to lie. I just think it works really well. It's very much something I would do. <laughs> I love the black and the charcoal and the yellow golds and uh, this floor. It, it works. It just works. And it's really, it's really good looking. And the sink goes with it so well. It's got some of the tones in the wallpaper and the shower. Just well done. Well done. Okay, let's go out here and let's straighten this. Oh, there's the clown. <laughs> there's the sad clown. You used it. <laughs> oh hi Whitney that's okay it's gonna be later I'm gonna I'm gonna cut out our lunch break uh before I put it out but um it'll be available to watch it got a little skewed over here with the cam so as you do the cam for so long it just kind of okay let me do that all right let's go over here sorry I try to get straight. Oh, uh, sorry. Didn't need to do that. So here's like a guest room. Let's look at that. That's so pretty. And again, the cool painted ceiling. Uh, I think is this a Princess Cordelia bed? No. Is it? I'm still getting to know what's what. I have to like make lists when I make my regular videos. Oh, and this kid's room is so cute. I love the plaid uh, wallpaper. 
It's so adorable. Oh, and I, I love the blue, balloon mural on the plaid wallpaper. That's so cute. These beds are adorable. Yeah, this color scheme is great. Love, love, love it. And that's what's in here. Ah, another bathroom and another training potty. Let's go back a little bit so we can see this bad boy. Do you paint the ceiling or is it just the, I think it's just the light. And then this uh, shower looks really good with this tile. I loved it. Love it. That's so pretty. It's a little hard getting around those small bathrooms, but I try to show everything because. Let's see this one. Okay. We're getting a little foreshortened again. Okay. Let's see what we got left. We did not do, oh, oh, we didn't do these two rooms. Okay, let's get in there. I love these two rooms. They're some of my favorites. Sorry, I've been here before. <laughs> there are, there are. <laughs> too expensive. <laughs> I know, I know. I don't, I don't think about costs. Of course, I don't even play rags to riches. I, I'm bad. I just, I cheat money. <laughs> Oh, this is cute. Confetti wallpaper again. Looks amazing. This is adorable. And then, um, is this a bathroom to that? Yes. Oh, I love this bathroom. Oh, I love this with the, oh, okay, guys, look at the tile. Look at the tile in here. Yes, it is so cool. I love that out of that out of that one tile with the with the with the quarter tile placement. That would be really fun too in like a mid-century modern build. That looks so good. I love it. Sorry, I didn't mean to tweak my <laughs> mouse. I start looking around like it's my eyeballs and I start darting everywhere. But forgive me for that. Okay, so and then there was this one, I believe that I did I? I think I missed that one. Yes. Oh, no, we didn't. We saw the glass with the wine. Yeah, we saw this one. Yes. Let me go back up. Make sure it's a big, it's a big place for this neighborhood. It's one of the bigger houses in this neighborhood. And we did this one. We can just check it out overhead. I think I got it all. In this bathroom, super cute. All right, let's get a last look outside. Now let me get into the free. Free cam is easy in some ways and then harder in some ways, but you know, at least I don't have to look at like the, um, the buy stuff like uh, on the bottom. The build, the build uh, interface. So yeah, this is really gorgeous. And thank you so much. SR Simmer, uh, JB Morgan, same person here and on Discord. This is a great build, it's gorgeous. I love it, um, excited to have it in this world. And for all of your help in um, making this a reality, I just showcased it, but you you did it all like the behind the scenes, uh, like Santa's elf stuff. <laughs> so yeah, that is um, that is our last uh, yes, because this one is not. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we did it. We did it. Um, I'm really excited. I don't. Like, I didn't want to open the gallery. I wanted to manage worlds, so we can just look at the all the lots in the in the world. Wow. Oh. <laughs> well, everybody that did this build, JV, deserves lots of recognition. And for all the people that couldn't watch it, there's going to be a lot more views afterwards. I'm going to cut out our little lunch break period. 
um, in YouTube. I don't edit in there much, but I'll try to do that. And then we'll get it up. And so then it'll be like a five hour video to watch. You know, you ought to only be doing something else. <laughs> 12,000 for a bed. <laughs> There's another bed at the top of the stairs. Let me see. That's the $12,000 bed. <laughs> I just want to look. <laughs> okay. Well, we're still in here. So where was this $12,000 bed? Uh... This guy is a $12,000 bed. I think we used them in both. Yeah. Different colorways. Wow. <laughs> oh, yes. And so uh, there's going to be the next challenge is going to be an Oasis Spring uh, renovation. Cordelia's bed's $12,000. Like I said, I just cheat them like millions of dollars and <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't use it. <laughs> okay, so this is not her bed because hers is $12,000. <laughs> so oh, gosh. I guess I'll have to do a budget challenge at some point. I don't know. That's going to that's gonna be hard. Did I actually? Oh, I had the grid on because I got out of there. So I didn't have it on the whole time. All right. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my boyfriend always uses his Cordelia bed. He likes very fancy stuff. But he does rags to riches. Like, he makes them work for that Cordelia bed. Me, I just, I, they're all spoiled brats. They're all trust fund kids, uh, my simps. <laughs> they hardly work a day in their life, and they have everything they want, and then they complain and, you know, are scared of everything, like all sims. <laughs> Well, thank you guys again so much. Uh, thank you, JB, SR Simmer, for really organizing all the behind the scenes to this contest, um, keeping us afloat of the lots that have been turned in, um, taking all those beautiful screenshots and making all the spreadsheets. I mean, I can't, we can't thank you enough, uh, Sam and Bean. Thank you, Sam. Sam and Bean, uh, their information for their uh, YouTube channel is in the description to this. Please join. They do amazing builds, amazing build tutorials, uh, different um, like architectural style uh, tutorials. So uh, definitely join them. If you've enjoyed your time with me, uh, you know, I'm going to be putting out a lot more Sims content. I just started doing Sims content. I've made a lot more builds than I've produced on video. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot more kind of equally to my other game. So, um, well, thank you guys for hanging out with me today. This was so much fun and, um, I look forward to seeing you in the next, uh, stream or video. Have a good evening.